Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. Wow. I got Reese's Puffs in my bowl. Wow. Now my day's on cruise control. Wow. I got Reese's Puffs in my bowl. Wow. And just like that, I'm on a roll. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Peanut butter, chocolate flavor. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. In the AM, it's the flavor I savor. Peanut butter and chocolate too. Oh. You know how I do, that's what I wake up to. Uh. My Reese's Puffs inspired this rhyme. That peanut butter, chocolate combination on time. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. to make a formal apology. I would like to formally apologize. Hold on, let me do the, the Japanese dogeza thing. Ahem. There. Chat! I am sorry. I have been late four days in a row. I have been 20 minutes late to stream for four days in a row according to pokemon sleep i should be dead by now every time that motherfucking pokemon professor sees my sleep schedule they're saying why are you alive how do you exist i am sorry in return i will buy you guys a puppy in fact i actually uh him I may have actually already gotten you a puppy. I hope you're excited. I left them in the mansion. This is my apology to you. I brought a dog. I know you guys always ask like, Joel, when are we gonna get a pet? When are we gonna get, uh, you know, man's best friend? Chat's best friend? This one's like a spicy dog. So you're gonna have to worry about that. Uh, so we're gonna see how that goes It'll be fun though This is my apology to you I did the dogeza thing Or in this case I turned sideways Which is like a VTuber's weakness As soon as they turn horizontal That's like them showing It's like a dog showing you their belly It's like I'm sorry I apologize That's what happens when a VTuber goes horizontally That's like their, that's their weak point Alright that's that's proper apology right there other than that though thank you guys for coming by big love and welcome to the stream happy saturday chat today we're going on a date night with my friend Cinder, one of my favorite friends as well as my uh favorite family line of people in general my god that entire family is lovely so we're gonna be hanging out with them today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And by them, I mean Cinder herself. I, I don't I don't know why I said it as if there's like a secret mom and dad hangout session planned. It's me and Cinder. We're gonna party. It's gonna be fun. And after the date night, we might play some more Tears of the Twink after date. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how I feel. Other than that, thank you for coming by. Don't be shy. And feel free to say hi. Go! The faster you say hi, the faster we get into the chat, and the faster I show you guys the brand new dog that I got you guys so you're not mad at me anymore. Let's turn the music down, let's turn the sound effects up, and let's turn that chat up, because we're about to get into it. Let's go! Follow me! Hello? Hello? Mom? 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 Wait, oh shit, she mom? found out that she's here. What are you doing? Wait, hold on a minute. Mom? Are you looking for your mom here? Cinder, please. Oh, hey, Joel. She's um, just, you know, she just came to visit. It's fine. What do you need Is from she her? here? I haven't, I haven't seen her. So is I came she, looking for her. Uh, she's resting. What does that mean? Wait, what do you mean? Is it's my mom alive? <laughs> No, I didn't. What you, what you make it sound like I murdered her? No, She's you see, resting. so my mom, my mom rests when people are supposed to sleep. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh, you're saying normal time zones. Oh, uh, <laughs> we stayed up playing Mario Party. So Aww. she she's sleeping oh, right cute. now. Yeah, 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 we were having a good time. We were hanging out. She beat me in Mario Party. She got seven stars, which is the most that I've ever seen. That sounds about right. Ever. Yeah. I've never mm -hmm. seen someone get seven stars in Mario Party ever in my life. Yeah, I take after her. That's why I'm such a pro gamer. Cinder, didn't didn't you lose the last time we played Mario Party? No, that was definitely you. <laughs> I feel like we both lost. If you're not number no. one, it's not winning. No, didn't I get like second place? Who else did we play? We got no. Bat was in second place, wasn't she? No, no. Oh, sorry. You got second place because you were being too nice to Haruka. You were like, I, oh my I god, think Haruka, that's... I think you deserve this star. <laughs> and then Haruka gets like 18 stars. <laughs> and then Cinder was like, I hate Joel. Men, scum. And then she shot me. And that's why I was in last place with zero stars. Mm, that's I, I think I that's, a, that's skill issue. Um, Don't you skill issue me, all right? You didn't know how to play the oh, game. Oh, wait. I actually have a clip. Oh, it looks like uh, Bow and I tied. About. It looks like we tied with two stars. I don't know stars. what you're talking about. And you... <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. If you're not in first, you lost, basically. So, I mean, everyone in second, third, and fourth place are basically all losers. <laughs> I'm going to send it to I you anyway. I don't think there's tears between <laughs> losers, Cinder. I think if you lose, you're all a loser. What? <laughs> I don't think Wait, what? We, we don't need to tear ourselves. You know, we all lost together. We were all losers. Just because you had more stars than me doesn't mean you didn't lose. So. Welcome to okay. date night. <laughs> Yippee. Yippee. This is Cinder's like fourth time onto my stream. Or on my, no, fifth is time it? on date night. Fifth? I don't know. Something what? Like no, that. that's not. That's not right. I brought you on a couple of times. You're my favorite. Stop. I don't say that to everyone. <laughs> you shouldn't pick favorites. Oh. All right. I'll keep it. Uh, I'll keep it to myself. Wait. But no. She's let one me. Of my favorites, chat. <laughs> I'm she flattered. lives in my walls. <laughs> Wait. Um. I think your mansion will have burned down by now. Are you sure about that? I mean, it's got like poor. It's got like fucking stone in the background. Can you burn that? Um, I mean, you you've got you got a lot of wood wood wooden structures here. I mean, I could handle it. Isn't your weakness like a spray bottle filled with water? No. Bad. What? <laughs> what did that? What did you just try? What did that not work? No, it doesn't work. work. That's fire. No. Chat now. <laughs> You're gonna explode! Don't use that! Put down the spray bottle! Don't use the WD-40! Put it down! We're gonna burn, bro! <laughs> if you're gonna spray or use water, don't use our fucking lubricant for my joints! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I can't handle this, so I gotta so, sit down. Oh, well, um, if you're having a seat, may yeah. I ask? So, um... In my my room, I have I have a really cool big throne, right? Yeah. Um, so do you have like a, have a, rock. a really big porcelain throne? No, I have a rock. Oh. Look at my boulder. Isn't it cool? That's where I like to sit sometimes. It's basically the me... same thing. Oh, oh yeah, that makes sense. Wait, so you're like you you're like an about? animal. You're like a you're like an animal. What the fuck are you talking about? Sitting on a fucking rock. <laughs> Why, why can't I sit on a rock? Look at it. It's a pretty In rock. your own house? It's a like, pretty rock. Like, not even rock. the stairs? Don't even sit on the stairs. You sit on the smooth-ass surface of a fucking rock. <laughs> There's a hole in the ceiling. It's perfect. <laughs> it's like having my own skylight, but it's natural. Mm. Well, I wouldn't expect that to be comfortable for any, any uh, sane it. person. No, no, try it. Go. You want me to lay down on your rock? Sit on my rock. It's comfortable. Oh. Go, go. Look up. It's like pretty. There's a skylight. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps it's wrong. not so bad. Maybe I was <laughs> mistaken. Hmm. <laughs> no, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Fuck! My rock! I'll have you know that it's very pretty. It is pretty. I, I just prefer an actual fucking chair. <laughs> Dude, you know what I really want for when I stream? I, when I was in college and I was doing Overwatch streams before VTubing existed, 
I know, <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, I get it. I get it. All right. <laughs> but back then, I uh, I had a like a couch chair, and I would just move that up to my desk and sit in the couch chair while playing games, and it was the most comfortable thing in the world. A couch chair? So so like, imagine a lazy boy, except it's not a recliner. So it's just a chair, but it's also a couch. Like a love seat? What the fuck is a love seat? Since oh, I was right. in college, I you, wasn't making you love to know. <laughs> No, that's not what that's for! I'm a VTuber, alright? I don't know. What the fuck kind of love are you talking about? No, it's like... What? It's like... It's like a, a, a big... It's like one one big seat cushion couch. I'm not sitting but on a fucking it's... stool. It's a couch no, no, chair. No, 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 no. It's like a couch chair. But yeah, it's... See, see, it's a little bit... No, 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 no. I'm trying to use words, simple words that your brain will understand. Speak slowly, okay? <laughs> okay. It's like Slower. a small couch Slower. that's just barely big enough for two people to sit on. So you have to sit really close together. And that's why. Because then it's like, ooh, you sit in that chair with your lover. That way you're like really close, pressed up against them. But it's technically not big enough comfortably for two people. Um, but it's it's a little too big for one person. Sorry, can you repeat that but slower? No. So it's like a, little, <laughs> it's like a couch chair. Sure, sure. <laughs> so you would pull chair. that you would you would pull that up to to <laughs> game with? Yeah, yeah. So I would I would play shitty games like Overwatch because back then it was kind of decent. And I would I would push the chair up uh next to the to the, my shitty desk at the time and I would just like lounge in it. Like I would put my legs up on one side and then I would like get in a real weird like laying down position and play games with like either a controller or I would like move my uh my keyboard. Doesn't that hinder your performance? I never said I was good at video games. <laughs> yeah, no stars in Mario that, Party. Would, okay, that's the RNG, all right. I don't want to hear it. I don't know. I got 6 stars yesterday when I was playing Mario Party. So I feel by like yourself? it's RNG. Yes, by myself. Oh. What do you mean? You think fucking there's teams in Mario Party? No, Which there you should usually be, play with, like you usually play with other people. <laughs> I feel like that'd be very interesting, actually. Yeah, a recliner would be good, too, you think? Like, if you could rec have a recliner chair. Not a gamer chair, yeah. but, like, just an actual couch. Yeah, that'd be nice. I don't know, man. I feel like people disengage when, think about, when thinking about, like, couches in terms of, like, computer chairs. Like, why not? Yeah. Wait, actually, that reminds me. can't be that bad me. for you. No, when I was in the, I was I was waiting in the airport I with you were gonna say Camila. When I was in the army. <laughs> no, <laughs> look at me, what, <laughs> bro? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, no, no. When uh, I don't remember which convention we were coming home from, but uh, I was with Camila and Red, and we were waiting for our flights. And to kill it's some time, time, since. Our flight was it WeebCon? I know it's WeebCon because I was really sad that because we were at the same airport, but I left uh, before you guys. Oh, oh, maybe that's it. So I was like, was... Oh, I could have hung out with everybody. Right. You were playing oh, Mario no. Party. No, we were playing uh, Fall Guys. So there oh. was this gaming lounge, and they had a bunch of the those like lounge chairs. They're really, they're really soft, squishy, relax, relaxing to sit yeah, in yeah. chairs. And they had like PlayStations and Xboxes, and they could all connect to the accounts together. So we all played on our own console and we, we connected together. Yeah, dude, that it was airport so much fun. must have fucking had a gamer in it for them to set up LAN on, on different Xboxes. Oh my god, the fucking what? worker, the worker was like, "Yo, we just had like I don't remember which which like popular streamer or YouTuber they had, and they were like, yeah, like he was just here the other day, and I wanted to turn <laughs> to him and say like, have you ever had any VTubers here? Dude, <laughs> but me, I didn't want to like something. out us. Have you ever heard of a VTuber? Mm -hmm. Ain't no way. <laughs> you, ever, you ever watch VTuber? Perhaps, mayhaps, you've heard of um, Shyacent Lilicent? What? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I actually, I went out once, once upon a time. I went outside. Just um, once? With friends. I, I know, right? I went out with friends once, and none of them knew what VTubers were. I, it was my one IRL friend 
and he took me to meet his friends because he was like yo joel you don't go outside but i have, fr <laughs> I have friends other than you even though you're my best friend so we're gonna go Aww. and do shit and here are my friends his friends didn't know shit about like the internet <clears throat> so they were pretty healthy uh they played like <laughs> magic gathering but they didn't know they didn't barely use the internet the only vtuber they knew of was shy lily which was like what you don't even know any of the other like you don't know any company ones you just know lily right and he was like yeah i like i like the womp thing i like the womp thing that she does i think it's the funny womp thing. <laughs> that's really cute though and now is that all they know I, about her though? Yeah, that was like, that was it. So now whenever I think of <laughs> they like- They saw oh, one clip and they were like, I like her. <laughs> the one VTuber that normies know, I guess, is Lily. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, fuck. We Good gotta step choice, up our though. game, I guess. Uh. Oh, how do we, how? how do we reach the normie audience? <laughs> um. Uh. uh <laughs> you that's a good question. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, know if that's possible. Uh, what? Fuck! What else do people like? <laughs> oh, man. we should just go uh, door to door. Should we sell cookies? No, like, have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Porcelain Maid? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you ever watch Veggie Tales? I, 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 I think you guys should watch. Yeah. You know, I brought the I brought the VHS tape cassette tapes box with me. <laughs> If you're interested, I, I would love to invite myself into your house to watch VeggieTales with you. How often did you watch VeggieTales? As a kid, not often, but every time it did come on, it was a joy to watch. Oh, I I had that shit like on on DVD, on VHS, on fucking repeat, and I would memorize all the songs. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah! Dude, another VeggieTales fan in this Stop! community? I'm so happy. <laughs> So glad and I'm to a find hell a hound. friendly. It's so fucking ironic. <laughs> you could say that all of Cinder's lore was actually spurred on by Jesus Christ Himself. Yeah. And it's Christianity, the, it's... clearly. <laughs> it's, there's one song about about God being like bigger than the boogeyman, and you shouldn't yeah. be scared of a boogeyman <laughs> because Dude. he's there. <laughs> If VeggieTales came out today and was like, My yeah, it was Lord. all a parody, I would not be surprised. <laughs> if they were like, yeah, we were all, it was a parody the entire time. We were just fucking with everybody. I would like, I would not have been surprised. <laughs> I mean, they're vegetables. Yes, yes, they are. <laughs> That's why it's called VeggieTales. I know, but why vegetables? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you're supposed to appeal to children. I don't know, man. When I was a kid, the only like I liked a lot of vegetables. Me too. People shit on Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are amazing. <laughs> what are you, a child? Uh, They're great, no, dude. They they fucking reek, man. They don't smell that bad. <laughs> they smell pretty bad. <laughs> All right, what's your favorite vegetable? I don't know. I like a lot of vegetables. Uh, Meat's not corn a vegetable. Count? Well, corn's not really like. It's honestly, not like a corn real is vegetable. like the junk food of vegetables. What? I'm it's pretty still sure vegetable. there's like no nutrition in corn. Okay, what about potatoes? All right, you got me there. There's not much in potatoes either. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a vegetable. That's a starch. And okay, corn is what a about grain. what about a sweet potato? That's that's still a <laughs> that's not. <laughs> That's still a potato. That's not. That's not a vegetable. I mean, I like broccoli and carrots and. Broccoli's good. Uh, Broccoli's yeah. not real though. Cauliflower. Broccoli doesn't actually exist. What do you mean? I, I just had some the other day. Broccoli's oh, not real. No, it's my not, favorite. It's not Sugar a real snap vegetable. peas. Sugar snap pea pods. Those are good. I like those. Yeah. I think edamame is the best one. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Edamame is like the perfect snack. Again, probably yes. unhealthy, but it tastes really good. <laughs> it's really good. I fucking love it. Good that enough Alame to get bowl. as movie theater food. It really was. It honestly was. <laughs> the, all those movie theater edamame beans kind of slap. You got edamame, <laughs> and then I got the worst food for mankind nachos. Well, were they good? Yeah, they were. Well, that's all that matters. <laughs> I was, I, ooh, I was eating like a king in that movie theater, and then I wasn't every other con that I went to. Well, 
Now that I know my differences, gotta, though, now I know how to eat You just gotta food. let let me let me pay. That's all you need to do. Cinder, you paying for the food is not gonna somehow make the food healthier for me. Yeah, yeah, it's, it doesn't. It ha it's healthy for the soul. This weird fucking <laughs> like reverse psych. This, this is this psychology does not help you. Yeah, yeah, it does. You See? paid for you one got of the meals. Sick. I'm paying for the rest. You got sick because you were paying for it. It's no, like the bad juju. No, I got juju. sick because I was weak. Shut. <laughs> I was weak and I will be weak no longer. Chat, we gotta toughen him up. Beat him up. What the fuck? Feed him more shit. Do you think <laughs> you need work? to build up a tolerance. Do you think if you just like beat somebody up for their entire life, eventually they'd be incredibly strong? Like their body would gain resilience from getting beat up? Um, isn't that how it works? I don't think so. I think that's an anime thing. I don't think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if somebody beats the shit out of me every day, I feel like my bones are broken. I will not. I don't know if I'm getting going to be stronger. Oh, yeah. Like, like when when people break their uh, like, like their their ankle their or something. And then if they re break it, the, do they grow back stronger? I think I thought so. it becomes more susceptible to breakage again. I don't know. I feel like I think if your bone breaks and it like. It, it gets like it regrow if you let it regrow it goes to be stronger right uh i don't know i don't know how bones work i just have one sorry I my bone is it. sticking out <laughs> Do you <mind? laughs> can you cover that up please this is a wholesome sorry, stream sorry. i'm sorry what are you doing showing your bone to my chat all right they're a little they I get, they get excited too easily you can't be doing that. <laughs> i say one word and they start barking okay <laughs> They'd be doing that in front of them. <laughs> They're cute. Is that why you keep them in horny jail? Well, no, they like that. Like, they, they oh. you can see that there's no fucking, they're like, the door is open in the back. They could have left years ago, but they just choose to be in there. Mm, they've just accepted that that's the way they are. I like to imagine they think of the cage as like, a safety blanket home like you know oh. when, when you're a kid and then you have to turn the lights off because your parents are asleep so you turn the lights off and then you run you run to your room across the stairs across the hallway or whatever and you're like no the monster's gonna get me and then you jump in bed when all the lights are off and then you're like i'm safe now i'm under my bed i'm under my blanket that's what i imagine if there's chat's a monster like. why would it only come out if the lights are off i thought you were gonna say if there's a monster why would i run <laughs> yeah that too <laughs> <laughs> If there was a ghost, why would I run? <laughs> he smiles. <laughs> what I don't know reason? what it's like to experience the dark. That's why I'm kind of afraid of it. Quotes that go hard from goofy cartoon characters, number 437. <laughs> Shut the I don't know out. what it's like to experience the dark. I'm, not, I'm on fire, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. My bone is cut. My tail is fire. <laughs> It'd be so fucked up if somebody doused your tail and then it was just the bone and it just is like, oh god. Do you have it nerve endings in that? Yeah, my bone. If somebody like grabbed the bone tail, would you feel that or would it be like yes. non-feelable? Non. What do you mean non-feelable? Well, it's bone. How would you have a nerve ending in a bone? I'm a hellhound. Cinder, that How doesn't... is my body on fire? Explain that shit. I don't know. I'm not a biologist. Yeah, I'm not a biologist either. Bi biologist. <laughs> so I read this really cringe like fanfic. <laughs> what the? What kind of? What transition was that? No, because they used biologist because it was like an SCP. <laughs> but... <laughs> Hold on, I need to explain this. <laughs> I need to explain this. I, I had an ASMR stream where I read like SCP entries. Okay. And there's a part on the SCP website where you can get like a random story or like a like like something like that, not just yeah. like the SCP page. And it brought me to this fanfic about like a a fish. Like like fishes like <laughs> like like there was like a, a self insert fish fanfic and it was like it had like like a raunchy what? <laughs> like a raunchy intimate scene displayed and it was only a couple fuckery? no <laughs> no i didn't read like the bad stuff oh but the rest of it leading up to it was really funny and at the end there was an author's note that was like i can't believe everybody's coming after me for for saying that like <laughs> fish don't reproduce this way like i'm not a biologist oh. he's like <laughs> 
<laughs> and this author was like, was like, also, I didn't know that this was also the same name as an SCP. I hate SCPs. What they delete the and they they delete all of my all my stories, and I don't like them anymore. But this article, this like story, was on the fucking SCP website. <laughs> <laughs> That's some petty shit by whoever's running the SCP website. They're like, we'll leave this one yeah. up. They added that one intentionally. That's not, we, you guys can have this one. That one works. <laughs> There's like so oh many fish puns in it. It was so stupid. Jesus Christ. Well, chat, you know, fish reproduce by uh, coding eggs. Yeah. Man, fish are freaks. <laughs> I'm never looking what? at all the fish VTubers right ever again. I mean... Would you? Coded egg? No! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh. but, but, but. <laughs> Humanity's got enough dead children on her hands. I, I feel like we don't need to waste them on eggs. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't believe you just said Jesus that! Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> Oh my God. Over your ears. <laughs> Chad, don't, don't listen. Mm -mm. Chad, you were, <laughs> Chad, you were one misfire away from being a dad. dad. Never mind. From what? <laughs> from being a what? What are you going to say? <laughs> oh my God. You're going to run that by me again. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Glad to have Cinder on, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yippee ki yay, Yahoo! I can't, I can't. Oh my god, why am I here just to suffer? <laughs> I also Jesus realized Christ. I haven't been here since uh, since I got my new model. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing around here, right? Every time one of the people that I brought on to date night gets a new model, that automatically means I have to bring them on for another date night. Oh, it's like, um,. It's like a whole new person that you haven't had on yeah, your stream yet. I've had around eight junipers on my stream so far. <laughs> she doesn't know when to fucking stop. She can't control herself. I don't herself. blame her. I don't blame her. It's I've cool. Got, I like, get it. If you have the ability to draw your own models, I would too. Right? I mean, unless you're like me and you've had stuff lined up for so long that it's just a matter of time before they come out. <clears throat> don't say anything though. <laughs> I mean, what? I got one next week. Have you have you announced that at all? Yeah, yeah, I announced that my bikini model debut is next week. Yay, chat! You're gonna be there, right? Chat, we have a bikini model debut lined up next week. Uh, maybe a few, maybe like a few weeks after that, we have the low poly model, which is already done, but I'm gonna make its own <gasps> debut. Ooh. After that, why not? At the end of the year, hopefully the male model, and then next year, I think I can only afford one new debut next year, which is gonna be the monster form. <gasps> which should be, and then after Monster Form, we'll do, we'll do the sun dress, which won the mo the outfit poll. Yo! <laughs> so many cool things coming up! Yeah! In a long amount of time! Yeah. Everyone's gonna forget that I said this by the time any of the other ones besides the bikini comes out. Yeah, I also have like three or four lined up, but nobody knows about that either. So How long don't is that gonna on. take? <laughs> <laughs> Not as long as you might think. <laughs> got, you know what? Cinder's got the fucking work ethic down. <laughs> She's already got everything set up into motion. Well, the design for this outfit was actually done before my 1.0 live 2D art was done. Wait, so do you just start all of them at once and then like, be, like you just do multiple projects at one time? Because I always, when I do have uh... debuts, I start <laughs> them like once at a, one at a time. I never do multiple at the same time. It's hard because um I feel like that's the, how you're fucking getting them the out so fast. The process takes a while, so I like to get a head start on things. She's better at planning things out. <laughs> I also have a really good manager to help me with like like but like time Ooh, budgeting. Red. Red. <laughs> we love Red. He's alright, I guess. He's okay. I don't know, he's yeah. nicer to me. I like Red. <laughs> I just have so many ideas, you know? And uh he helps like like schedule how to space things out and when to start working on each project. So super I like, helpful. I like Red a lot. I like my manager a lot. I I still am the one in control of my projects, but I probably could just leave that to my manager. 
But, well, uh, yeah, I want to be I, a very I feel much like I'm going to get imposter syndrome if I leave any more work to my manager. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what work am I actually doing if I leave everything else to them? Right? I'm going to feel fucked up. I feel that. I won't be able to complain to my chat about overworking anymore. I can't make myself look better anymore. <laughs> yeah, guys, but then it also I feels like really you need it. Like... Recently. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then you're, you're working too hard. I don't know. I don't know. I, is, that, is that part of imposter syndrome? It's where you're like, uh, you never recognize your own work. Is that what it is? I think that's or what like it is, you right? Feel, you feel like, I don't know, like you don't deserve what you have. I think that, that, I don't feel that. I feel like I do deserve it because I'm great and lovely. <laughs> <laughs> my thing is I don't recognize myself as hardworking. I don't oh. recognize my actual work as work sometimes. I mean, how how harder of a worker can you get than than walking on a treadmill or riding a bike <laughs> while you're while you're playing games and streaming? Like that's not work. That's like personal benefit. That's for your own health. Th but you're like, that's like doing a lot all at once. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel when I can, what I consider work is like scheduling. Collabs are like half work, even though they technically are work. Mm -hmm. uh, streaming is work. And then management, because in reality, since I'm not doing any of the art for my models, I'm managing everyone else who is doing the work, which is just more, st it's, it's, here's the thing with managing, making a new model chat. It's so much, I feel like a lot of people don't realize how much goes into else. it. Like the entirety yes. of make, managing debuts as a VTuber, if you're not the one doing the art, you have to sit there and be stressed because you have to wait for every other artist to be doing their shit and then contacting you or spamming <laughs> them and being like, hey, hey, can I get a confirmation that you're working? New starting screens are probably like the best and worst example. <laughs> I'm because at, oh, there's really? so much. Yeah, I've been using so like, the same one uh, <laughs> with me just running after my own head. I've had two, but the thing with with those is that you have the artwork for it, right? Yeah. And if you have like a starting screen art, you want it animated so it's a little more visually interesting. And then in order to get it animated, you have to wait for the artwork to be done. And then while it's getting animated, you also might want some background music. But then you have to wait for the background music to be done so that the <laughs> animation is synced up in time with the background like music looping. And then if you want like text on it that says starting soon, then you have to go and do that and like like the, the whole overlay situation. And it's just like... <laughs> Waiting for people to be done with everything before you can move on. <laughs> it's that that is very similar to how lore videos work because I yes. always try to get a lore video done for every model that I have. So none model had one. I, I, the original one had one. The bikini one's gonna have one. Uh, and it's it's one. I always try to make it just three people so I don't overwhelm anyone. One artist, one person to do the art, one person to do the music, and one person to edit it all. And then you mm -hmm. always, like, one person can't do their work without the art. So the artist has to get done, and then the musician can kind of get a feel for what you want. <laughs> and then the editor can't do shit until they get the art or the music, and then they can't finish one until they get both. That's me right now with, um, <clears throat> making music. <laughs> <laughs> I like your voice a lot, so I, I like any music that you make. Um... Arguably, I haven't made any yet. <laughs> Is cover our covers not music? Do those not ca not count? Um, or do you mean like original really, music? It's not really singing, but yeah, I mean, I guess original music too. <laughs> oh, I guess that counts. I don't know much about music, surprisingly, since I don't listen to a lot of music. I did do a, a cover of a rap song, and everybody's like, "You can't sing," and I was like, "I wasn't singing." <laughs> Man, people get mad about anything. <laughs> M music people especially are like the most defensive about anything. Hell yeah, I can't wait to blow them out of the water. Yeah. I believe in you! <laughs> hey, I you believe! Don't. I don't know, man. <laughs> Music's for fun, so I'll never get mad at somebody yeah. for just singing and then uploading it. Like, literally. who gives a shit? I'm about to do, do a song with my dad or something like that. Yeah! yeah <laughs> I should! Dude. I, I like singing. I can't sing for shit, but I really enjoy singing because it's just fun just to fuck around. I mean, that's the whole point of karaoke, yeah. right? Uh, right, exactly. And I really like singing songs that are not hard to sing. Like, Gorillas mm -hmm. is probably the easiest thing that anyone could sing. 
<laughs> as long as they don't fucking have a crack in their voice when singing. Mm. That's the fun I one. love gorillas. I like gorillas a lot too. I don't know, man. I get called a psychopath a lot because I don't listen to music. I mean, it's kind of hard sometimes to listen to music with the kind of job that we have, depending on what so? exactly we're working on. Well, when you're when you're working on stuff, what do you have in the background? Do you have music or do you have like YouTube videos? Because I have YouTube videos or Twitch streams on rather than music. Hmm, I think it depends on what I'm working on. Although, sometimes it's like audio-based stuff, so I kind of have to listen to that. Um, but I guess if I want something just to have on in the background, I, I listen to, like, podcasts. Yeah. Sorry, I was, <laughs> Are you judging me? <laughs> no, 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 I, I had to mute because I sneezed and I didn't want anyone to hear it. <laughs> so I was like, oh, fuck, Bless she you. stopped talking as soon as Bless I sneezed. You. It's going to sound like a talk silence. Chad, just sneeze. No, don't tell them that. They don't need to, they don't need to pay attention to that one. Oh, my, how do you spell that? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, okay. So, like, I'll listen to music if I'm working on lore, right? So, when I back when I did art, I would listen to music because music helped me be creative with art. Uh, yeah. But now, since I don't draw anymore as much, uh, when I listen to music, it's only for when I'm writing my lore videos. Hmm. And that's about it. I can't really listen to music. Because music it makes me get in... Get into my emotions more than anything. Oh god, we got another broken partner account. Uh oh. Oh god. <laughs> I actually wait, I'm interested. Is this like an is this like an actual Twitch streamer or is it like some random partner account? I don't know. Did you see There's that been going some around? weird stuff happening. Yeah. Oh, it's not a real account! <gasps> what the fuck? Imposter! I just Get clicked out of on here. it and it doesn't that's so crazy. Dude, I didn't know there were that many partner accounts. I don't know how they do that though. So many people want partner, and then there's random. Accounts I know. That so have many this. people are so deserving, and then there's this <laughs> shit that happens. There's random partner accounts that get hacked and then spam links <laughs> and chats. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I love that dude. Stay protected. <laughs> oh my God! Use protection when you're streaming. Gesundheit is German. I did not know that. You know what my favorite thing hmm. as a kid was? I fucking loved vocab. Boobies? Oh. What? <laughs> Hold on a minute. That's not educational. <laughs> My favorite Depends thing as what a you're kid asking. was vocabulary. Every time we did anything in school, I was like vocab. I fucking love vocab. I love really? learning like about spelling? weird words. Huh. No, I don't give a shit about spelling. I just like learning about different words in the English language. Isn't that, that like, never vocabulary? Get used. I mean, spelling's part of it, I guess, but it's mostly just the vo you know expanding your dictionary of words. Hmm. Your dictionary goes from here to here. Exactly. <laughs> wow, maybe that's where I got it from. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this has been ingrained since childhood. I guess so. I've been doing this forever now. Some things know, never change. That was my favorite thing in school. I didn't give a shit about anything else. I was like, vocab? I'm in, bro. Let me make myself sound smarter by learning words that are completely unnecessary. <laughs> I liked all the art classes because... I was good at it, and all the teachers would praise me, my and I would get good ooh, grades. My art teacher called me charming once. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> my so art cute. teacher was like, Joel, would you like to present to the class uh, about this topic? And I was like, why me? And she was like, well, Joel, you're very charming, and everyone likes you. She's, like, <laughs> <laughs> She's so <laughs> real for that. Oh my God. True. <laughs> this is back before I knew what fucking what a comb was and uh, how to take care of myself. So I was like the fucking Aww. most d d like gross looking kid in the class. I was like, <laughs> like a little ragamuffin. I was a little ragamuffin, yeah, in the nice <laughs> way of saying it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my mom used to call me, so I figured it would be endearing. My mom called me babe all the time when I was a kid. Aww, my mom calls me pumpkin. Like, pumpkin. like both my both my parents like still to this day call me pumpkin. Oh, you know what? You <laughs> you do have a pumpkin vibe. Is that or, or something that was pumpkin? Pumpkin, pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin, punk, like punk, pumpkin. Oh, my dad called me a punk all the time. <laughs> yeah, they, my mom they called they me babe, punk. and my dad called me punk. <laughs> Duality. <laughs> I was like, what the, what am I? Make your make up your fucking mind. <laughs> right? <laughs> my dad had a weird vocabulary. He would use the word slick all the time. He'd be like, you think you're slick, huh? Oh. It's like, where did the fuck, where did, I've never heard anyone else in my life use the word slick. 
Was your dad a greaser? He was not a greaser. That sounds like a <laughs> your what, dad's giving me greaser fucking, vibes. He had a flip comb and he would like comb yeah. his hair while looking at people. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> He's part of Fallout. And... Oh my god. I don't know. Now, now that's all I see. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Your dad has more of the fucking greaser look with his punk rock everything and his outfit. He's just, he's just a, a fun guy. He's a mushroom. No. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> okay, sure, he could be a mushroom. Yippee. <laughs> I would say he's that a if I wasn't a doll, I would be a mushroom VTuber. That would be like really cute. a parasitic cute. mushroom. Yeah. Yeah. What do Didn't you think you would be? Didn't you? Oh, if I, hmm. Well... My quote-unquote past life was technically, like, cozy, comfy, uh, pink hair, generic anime girl, like, cherry blossom <laughs> vibes. Um, but, if I, if I really thought about it, I'd probably want to be a pirate, because I really like pirates. A pirate? Yeah. I mean, both are I like, good. I know a lot I of like pink hair, piece comfy people, and, and I know a lot of pirates. of the Caribbean. God. Yeah, I... I ended up wanting to do something that I'd never seen before, and something that combines a bunch of my interests. So, uh, this is what we came up with. <laughs> you know, I like it a lot. I actually really like this new outfit. I do Thank think you. I, you should wear shoulder guards or something. Shoulder guards? I want to see, like, pauldrons. I don't know. I just want more Hold armor on. on you. Uh, I might be able to fix that. Uh, there we go. Now you just look naked! Put it back! <laughs> no, 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 Stop. no! I'm in my swimmies. <laughs> this just this makes it look worse, honestly. <laughs> wait, 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 dude! Do take it off again. Take it off again. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> okay, put it back on. Put it back hey on. There. Put it back on. Put it back on. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You got me your outfit. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> you know, what, you know what? Make hey, hold on. I have something that makes me look naked too. Hold on, hold on. Huh? Well, I mean... <laughs> Wait, I can do that too! just feels wrong. <laughs> yeah! It just feels wrong. I don't like it. It's like something's missing. <laughs> <laughs> you look kind of bald! It's the doll with no <laughs> brim! <laughs> wait, wait, I can make it look better now. Hold on, wait. There we go. Now this looks normal. This <gasps> is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Twinning! <sighs> I feel naked, bro. <laughs> Bald! Bald! Look how cute we are! Bald! We're both Karens now! <laughs> Wait, I can make it look really fucked up because my ponytail isn't supposed to <laughs> not have the bonnet on. But that's cute! No, look, there's part that's not textured. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, now that you see it, you're like, oh, that is it's fucked so up. It's so cute! I feel like I you don't really notice that unless you're <laughs> looking for it. No! <laughs> Oh my god. I really, still think it's pretty. The only one that fits is the fucking bob cut. This is the only one that you can wear. Wait, wait. Hold on. I'm going to turn into a generic cat girl. <laughs> yeah. Now we're twinning. Put it on, Chad. No more bald. I'm putting it back on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's so fucking goofy, oh my Furry. god. <laughs> no! <laughs> I oh can't, my god. holy what, shit. What were you, when I said mushroom, you were trying to say something. I don't know if I cut you off. Do you, do you remember what you were going to oh, say? I was saying, um, didn't you uh, design somebody that, that has like a mushroom Yeah, yeah, I have two kids. Uh, vibe? I, have, I have my Leviathan child, Galther, and I have yeah. my uh, mushroom jellyfish, child <gasps> uh saranya mushroom jellyfish yeah yeah do you want to see her i still have a picture of her on here somewhere yeah yeah that's so cute uh not that picture not that picture wait <laughs> oh. that's your mom there she is there's i've been looking for you uh, she's going <laughs> back to mom. sleep now <laughs> Uh, where's the image she's around here somewhere now hold on a minute 
I was actually, um, every time I stop by my parents' house, my mom will be like, Oh my goodness, I was on Joel's stream the other day! <laughs> he, he just, like, pulled me on stream, and, and he bounces me around like I'm really walking around, and, and like I'm really there. <laughs> mom! <laughs> <laughs> why is your family she's like so always cute. lurking literally she's always in your fucking stream <laughs> you know she's so nice she's so i love that sometimes i can make a joke about your mom and then she'll just be like yeah i was on joel's stream and i was like she's watching <laughs> she's secretly watching <laughs> chances are she's probably there she's might she might even be here right now cinder's mom she's in the walls she's in the walls <laughs> Uh, your mom's so sweet. I, uh, I always say this, but I love the entire Cinder family. What's your last name? Hellhound? <laughs> <laughs> I love the entire Hellhound line of family. <laughs> there you go. Is your last name Wolf? <laughs> I mean, sure. Wolf, I mean, Papa Mama Wolf, Wolf and Wolf. Papa Wolf. I was gonna say, like, um... I, I was expecting you to say Cinder Cinder's Dog, and I was about, I was about to... <laughs> <laughs> I was about to go fucking barrel on you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he, he, he's not gonna say it. He's not gonna say it. Who knows it's good for him? No, I would never. I would never. I know. <laughs> I know. I, I ride a very thin line between danger and comedy here. <laughs> There's a very you thin like to line live that you have to ride when you're talking to people's moms. <laughs> mm-hmm. Why did Lazy just shout me out? What the fuck? <laughs> what? What the fuck? Hi, Lazu! <laughs> hi, hi Lazu! Why are you shouting me out? <laughs> I just get a shout out. Do you ever see that? I think that? he's jealous. When you he wants to be on your open? date. No, actually. Do you stream without the activity feed open? Uh, Maybe people just don't shout me out. I'll shout you out. <laughs> I'll tell my mods to randomly shout you out when I'm streaming. Stop, no. <laughs> Mods from now on like in the middle of a stream shout out Cinder. <laughs> just like no prompt, just do that randomly. <laughs> I'll let you know if I see it. <laughs> Unprompted. Where the fuck it Whoa! What? Nothing. I got the dun dun, -dun sound effect. Oh. What the fuck is this picture of my kids? <laughs> where, where, wow, oh God. you don't even keep like a family photo no, album? I'm looking for them in my wallet. They're around here somewhere. <laughs> where are they? <laughs> <laughs> Where are my kids? Wow, Chad, did you hear that? I Joel's a God. terrible father. No, 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 I swear to God, I, I love Saranya and Gaul. Oh, that's why Lazy was shouting me out. <laughs> <gasps> Cinder, Lazy! can you do my raid intro while I look for my kids? Hi, hi, Legion. Hi, Legion. Welcome to Porcelain Maid. If you follow, your peepee -pee will grow. Thank you. Okay, well, I, I, I didn't know you were going to lobotomize my raid intro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> feel like you were missing a few things there, but all right. I mean, best you That's can do. That's the gist of it. That's the gist of it. Uh, That's the important, it. the important part, That's right? That's the important part. <laughs> Lazy, I saw you shouting me out. I was like, why the fuck is Lazy shouting me out midstream? <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where the fuck Hi is this shout out coming from? Welcome. Welcome, Raiders. I'm looking Enjoy for a picture of my kids. Enjoy your time in the cage. Kids. Oh, that's not a problem. Why don't you just do your raid intro? I'm so, okay, fine. I'll do my raid intro. Welcome to the stream, Raiders. My name is Porcelain Maid. I used to be a sexy sack of man meat. Before I died, my soul got trapped inside the body of a sexier female doll. He and pronouns, but if you're still confused about pronouns in the 21st century, you can think of me as a bisexual wet dream. Sexy male voice trapped inside of a sexier female doll. I give you a curtsy out of courtesy. Be elegant as fuck like that. And Raiders, did you know that if you follow the stream, you can gain three extra inches to your dick size? That's right, your dick will go from here to here. Enjoy the big dick size, big love team. Thank you for coming by. I'm on a date with Shango. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. I don't know why. Every time I say Cinder's name, I always do it in like the most like. It's like you're talking to, to a dog. You said it, not me. I <laughs> what it sounds like? You brought it up. <laughs> I've always said that you radiate like golden retriever energy, which is really nice. Good. That I'll take that as a compliment. It is a compliment. 
It's because whenever we, whenever we hang out, you're always so excited. So I'm like, Ooh, I, like <laughs> I am. I, I don't know. I'm just. I'm, I'm always happy. Yeah, dude, whenever you DM me, whenever I get a random DM from Cinder, or, well, mostly, like, any of my friends, it's like, ooh, my friends DM me, ooh. <laughs> it's always like, like oh, my God, hi, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we, we say it back to each other all the time. Yeah. It's always like, Cinder, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Uh, fucking just, uh, that's the one brain cell in my head vibrating yeah. in excitement. <laughs> that just sounds about right. Crazy, honestly. <laughs> Wait, okay, hold Aww. on. I think I can find my kids. Maybe they're in the game you screen. Got, you got the ears back on. It's a redeem. Is it this picture? <gasps> nope. Is There's it two this of me picture? Here. Nope, that's hot ones. <gasps> Is it this picture? That's a chicken nugget. Uh, <laughs> This one, that's chat. Uh, you don't label your uh, your, no, your sources. No, I do not, Cinder. I am not smart. <laughs> <laughs> I label most of them, and all the images are unlabeled. Wow, that seems like a very inefficient way of organizing Flash everything. Flashbang! <gasps> They're so distracted. cute. Hold on, hold on. Where the fuck is this image, bro? <laughs> I'm telling you, I swear to God, I it's have okay. it. It's okay. I just want to okay. show you my kids. <laughs> you're like, uh, you're like Maze Hughes. Maze Hughes. Oh, fucking, I love, I love Mr. Hughes. Yeah. God. I did a, uh, I did an anime character tier list yesterday. Like an anime main character tier list and a side character tier list. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Did you know who they all were? Uh, I knew most of them. I don't watch anime as much as I used to, man. So, oh, oh okay. I thought, I thought you were going to say you don't watch anime, and I'm like, how the fuck did you know any of these people? <laughs> I knew a lot of them, but it was a lot of new age anime that I've never seen before that confuses yeah, the fuck out I of me. Yeah, I hate that because I haven't had any time at all to watch, like, anything that came out recently. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh my god, it's so good. I'm just like... <laughs> it's hard, I don't man. know. I only have time to watch weekly One Piece. Weekly One Piece. I don't want to watch the anime. I never really do. What about the live action? I will actually watch uh, One Piece live action. I'm not. It looks really good. I'm not as uh, annoyed by at it as some people are. I'm. I don't. I don't know. I'm a really big fan of the series, and I am super hyped for that. There it is. I found it. This is my this is my daughter my my they them uh son daughter uh, child Sonia. your child I forgot what the word ch <laughs> I forgot the word child <laughs> you forgot the word child this is Saranya. oh my god it's so pretty this is the design that I gave to her <gasps> I love that holy shit this wait that works is... so good the jellyfish and the, the mushroom do you like it I did yeah. the design myself. I love it! This art was done by Parasitic Bun, but the design is uh, one that I made. He's so pretty. Isn't You're so good. Baby? You're good at making babies. Uh, <laughs> 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 Chat's mom tells me that a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mom, John! <laughs> oh. I love your mom. Um, me too. We also have Gowl. This is yeah. Gowl's PNG. Gowl is a Leviathan. He's kind of a sleep eyed Leviathan VTuber. So freaking cool. He talks I love like a this butler. one so much. <laughs> That's Gowl. I like the anglerfish. Yeah, he uses that because it's dark in the bottom of the ocean, so he uses that yeah. as light sources. That's why he doesn't really have any art. Of, like, the only things he's made. When I was making this design, I thought, okay. The only things he has that works at the bottom of the ocean are creatures that already live at the bottom of the ocean. So his light mm. source is an anglerfish. Uh, his clothing is made out of all like the skin of different fish. He's got a book that fell in the ocean, an anchor, uh, and he instead of a belt to hold the clothes together because they're not real clothes. He has a octopus that holds all this clothes together. That's his belt. <laughs> yeah, and he also is like the octopus is like his pockets. That's so cute. This is like so creative and so well thought out. I'm
I'm old. I only enjoy making character designs anymore. I don't actually enjoy drawing art anymore. Yo, I feel that. That's why I I'm like, like hey, design, I though. have this idea and I'm going to send my idea to an artist to design it. <laughs> Yeah, I make the designs and then I give them to the kids so they can give it to an artist that, like, will make them actual good models. Like, mm. this is the design for Saranya, and then they got a, I, I got them a PNG from Parasitic Bun, which made it look uh, ten times better. I really like your art, though. I still think your art's really pretty. <laughs> Thank you. See, look how good this art is, chat. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was the last piece of art I made? I mean, I've just been doing sketches on my iPad, but every mm -hmm. time I do art, I slowly forget more and more anatomy, so then it just slowly just becomes the <laughs> head. And now I've forgotten how to draw the head, so now I just die. <laughs> don't even bother drawing anymore. <laughs> Literally, me recently, I was uh, on Ross's stream, and we were doing the, the Gardic phone and, like, oh, drawing and shit. that sounds so fun. Uh, oh, my God. All my drawings are so fucking scuffed, like these awful, like, stick figure-looking things. <laughs> <It's> like, um... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm suddenly I was never an artist ever <laughs> do you not perceive <laughs> if you just yeah what I've learned to do is I learned how to make chibis uh by mm -hmm. making a bean and now because of that now I'll never have to make stick men ever again <laughs> just beans I don't have to do stick men anymore I can make cute little beans instead <laughs> No. Well, I guess the thing with me is I've always been more uh, of a traditional artist and trying to go from that to digital has always been like a hard thing for me. But I guess also I had a debuff by trying to use a mouse to draw, so <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was my problem. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I, th I I feel like it was the mouse that was really fucking you over. <laughs> Just putting that out there. I don't think that I think the mouse is probably what was uh, cocking you there. Yeah, yeah. Blame, blame the mouse, not not the the, the you artist. You did fine. <laughs> you were great. I would have said the mouse did. It was it was their fault. <laughs> as long as they get the idea across, right? That's the important thing. Yeah. Hmm. I've uh when when I did art originally, I did I would draw dragons all the time as a kid. No, I would me draw, too. I would only draw dragons, and then I started to like women. So I started drawing <laughs> at like 10 years old. I was like, I would go up to my dad because my dad, he's not an artist, but my dad would be able to perfectly replicate every anything he saw. So like, wow. if he saw something, he could, like if he was looking at something, he would, could immediately replicate it. Like he wasn't tracing or anything, but like, let's say he looked at a picture of you. He could easily mm. just redraw it. That's and crazy. And I have the same thing where if I look at someone, I could easily redraw it as a kid traditionally mm -hmm. so i would go up to my dad and i'd be like can you draw me from pokemon please <laughs> <laughs> it was either That's made so from cute. pokemon or it was naruto's uh like femme form oh yeah the sexy no jutsu because i was like <gasps> as a 10 year old i was like <gasps> oh my god boobies Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> i i re, i i re, big love Oh, yeah. Hello. That's my uh. That, that I would do that all the time and be like, Dad, can you draw Naruto's woman form for me or May? That's <laughs> Those so are my crushes. Those are my it's crushes. It's so funny that you brought up um, like dragons, because all I I would draw when I was younger were wolves and dragons. Wolves Whoa. because that's the kind of shit I like. Uh, uh, I know that must be like very surprising to a lot of you, but uh, <laughs> dragons Wolves. are actually my dad's favorite. My dad really, really loves dragons. So every year for like his birthday and for Christmas and for Father's Day and like everything. So like several times a year, I would always draw him a different kind of dragon. And so he has like all these different dragon drawings so just, just saved in this big pile. Uh -huh. I'm exactly <laughs> like your dad. Anytime somebody sent me like a letter or sent, like wrote me a card, I would save it. I have a giant box yeah, full of Yeah, me them. too! Like birthday cards and stuff? Mm -hmm. I had online friends that would send me birthday cards and Aww. I would keep them in a little box and I, I would read them sometimes whenever I was sad. That's so cute. I do I the same thing, kind of what thing. the hell? <laughs> son! We got another MILF in the chat. Hi, son, <gasps> big love! Hello! Speaking of dragons. <laughs> Dragon? Dragon. We're just talking about dragons. Yeah, I, I still think my favorite m mythological animal. No, it was definitely a dragon as a kid. I mean, who didn't like Aww. dragons as a kid, bro? They were so sick. Hell yeah. I really liked drawing like creature designs and like really yeah, what like, happened? creepy. I mean, I mean, I just don't draw much anymore. I don't have time, I don't have time for anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what I want? I want every VTuber to have a monster form. 
So like Juniper has one, I'm gonna Ooh. make one. I think it'd be really cool if every VTuber just had like a really creepy monster form that was like legitimately scary and not like monster fuckery. I mean, I've got an actual demon hellhound. Would you say it's creepy though? It's cool. It's more cool than creepy. But I mean, they're they're vicious and and intimidating, like me. <laughs> I love Cinder. <laughs> big fan. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Cinder. <laughs> I can't. I don't. I cannot physically imagine you being mean to somebody. Literally, I would. Maybe I would because feel we're bad. Yeah, but like, I would feel bad, and I'd probably cry if I knew that I was making yeah. somebody else feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> if like I knew like I was the reason somebody else was sad <laughs> It sucks That just makes me sad and then I cry And if I see somebody else crying then I start fucking crying <laughs> I don't want to make people So if somebody ever fights with me I don't want to make them sad I want to make them like think about their <laughs> I want to make them self reflective <laughs> instead I, Maybe self reflecting oh, is sad <laughs> So if, let's say somebody comes into my chat And start, it tries to start shit for a random reason right I will be mm. like the fuck are you doing you idiot you moron what are you doing right now like think about what you're doing in your life so i want them to be like what am i doing with my life i don't want them to feel sad i want them to be like what the fuck am i doing <laughs> i want them to be better i bet you haven't even drank water today yeah. <laughs> like but you're right i haven't speaking of which it's like that yeah oh oh yeah that's right you just woke up an hour ago i did all right don't call me out man <laughs> I, w I woke up and Lily, I went to, chat, went to Lily's chat, chat and Lily was like, what? what do you mean morning? Isn't it 4 p.m. for you? <laughs> well, you messaged me. You messaged me at like 4, right? And you were like, I'll call at 4.40. And, and then, then 4.40 rolls around and I'm chat. like, um, you still not calling me. You so when I, then me I was hanging chat. out. I was hanging out in your offline chat. I was just hanging out. I was hanging out with, with the homies, right? And then you finally messaged me and you were like, I'm getting breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> like right. five minutes before. To be fair, the, the breakfast was supposed that to I had start. today was amazing. My, oh, uh, you have. my aunt made bread but fucked it up. So it's like what? really dense and it was cakey. So like I pound was like, cake. this is delicious. But it was bread. So it was like a rye bread. Oh. It was like a really dense rye bread. Hmm. I like fucked up things, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> no, you're lovely. You're lovable. Aww. That's Jack, sweet. can I can I tell you guys? Do you think this is okay to talk about? If I talk about that one time we had a call and your parents were on the call. Wait, I, I literally just fucking told my chat that yesterday, like when oh, I was talking yeah. about the collab today. Yeah, chat, go ahead. Chat. I, one time I was kind of feeling down and I was like, Cinder, do you want to hang out? And Cinder was like, yeah, sure, let's hang out. And I was talking to Cinder on the phone and her parents came home. And we, so, it was just a whole family call. <laughs> I was just talking to Cinder and her whole family. No, it was literally because I knew, I knew you weren't feeling so good. So I was like, what what would really cheer Joel up? And my mom was home. I was like, you want to like say hi to my mom? And oh, he was like, God. yeah. <laughs> And then she I went out to so the well. living room, and then when I was in the living room, I was like, hey, I'm talking to Joel on the phone, and she's like, Joel, and then they just started talking, and I had Joel on speaker while, while he was talking to my mom, and while oh that's my happening, God. my dad walks in the door, like, right next to the living room, and he's he, he can hear the speaker, and he's like, is that Joel? And, <laughs> and then my parents just started talking to Joel, and I was sitting there like, um... <laughs> Dude, that's like a Can cool I talk for to me. my friend again? That's <laughs> <laughs> such a good time. It was so nice, dude. You're you you and your entire family. Okay, I say this with the most wholesome intentions. You and your entire family are some of the sweetest people I've ever met in my entire life. Oh. <laughs> and you guys are all so easy to talk to. Like your parents are like enjoyable to talk to. A lot of people's parents, it's kind of like a strained conversation most of the time, mm -hmm. where they don't. There's like an age gap. Where they can't really understand what you like or you're the things that you're into but your parents have been so supportive in your endeavors in life that they're actually easier for me to talk to and i fucking right. love that and especially you, since my mom like watches streamers so you're amazing too. <laughs> thank you <laughs> i love that family chat That's my, my mom was family. actually my mom was a little bit panicking after i got off the phone with you because she was like 
Was I asking him too many like personal <laughs> questions? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh hi, Joel. Like, how have you been? Where are you from? Where like, you how are your parents? <laughs> like, like just stuff like that. And then she was like, wait it's a minute, okay. I'm not supposed families... to like ask these questions. <laughs> I don't know. I don't mind if your mom knows where I live. That doesn't bother me. <laughs> she comes to visit. You know, she was just she like out. really, really uh, sweet about it, though. She's like, I hope, I hope he didn't get the wrong idea. No, every mom <laughs> does the same thing. Like if I had, right, if it's I, a like, mom you thing. Talk to my mom, my mom would be like, "Where do you live? Do you know this girl? <laughs> What's her name?" <laughs> <laughs> right. So it's, it's like the whole, um, like like that generation was kind of grew up like. You know, like, you, who are you talking to yeah, through yeah. this this electronic what, device? What like, is that it's not a real person. Box on the computer. <laughs> it's funny because my mom, I don't, I don't want this to sound bad, but she'd be like, "Are you gonna hang out with like real friends?" <laughs> like, <laughs> my mom does the same thing. <laughs> but but now I think she understands, especially because we all go to these conventions, we hang out in person. She feels she feels a little bit better about it. Just because, you know, like, you know, of course, that catfish show is like, that, has been on yeah, for a while yeah. now, and it kind of gets the thought in people's heads about what could happen, and people are just a little crazy, especially because we're kind of like anonymous online for the most part. Yeah. Well, I think uh, how I treat, say it to my mom so she doesn't worry whenever I go to a convention. Because one, she's not worried in the first place. She's like, oh, you're going to meet out with real people. You're not you're right. on the internet anymore. <laughs> Uh, so that's one, but I also, in case she ever does have a worry, I'm always like, well, I'm meeting people that also are in the same line of work as me. So if mm. they were a catfish, I could literally just tell other people in the line of work, like, hey, uh, this person's kind of scary. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like it, it's, it, that's another guarantee. I don't know, man. I, I'm just, I'm very happy. I think my, if I could explain to my mom properly, I don't really know how to get my mom to be interested in this sort of thing so she can understand more like i'll mm -hmm. show her what it is but i don't know if i have the patience to properly explain it to her have you held up your phone with your model loaded on it and had yes. her like play around with it i, I feel like that's that. a that's that's a really big thing to get them interested because you're like whoa it's me you know my mom the fo the only thing that my mom was super interested in uh was it wasn't the model it wasn't anything like that it was vr when I showed my mom VR, oh. that was the most interested she's ever been in technology. <laughs> my mom normally doesn't give a shit. She's like, I like true crime. I like uh, like soap operas and I, <laughs> I, I, I and food shows. And that's did you it. play? Did you play like the first chapter of the new Genshin area? I have not. No, I haven't oh, played Genshin it's like, in a while. It's like a murder mystery, <laughs> and it's like not Genshin. <laughs> Let me get my mom into Genshin Impact. That would be right. a great idea. <laughs> right. That sounds like, it's a like just great that one idea. chapter. <laughs> no. And she spends all her money on Gotcha. That's going to be great. I can't wait for that. <laughs> mom, you want to buy a house? No, I She uh, needs all the waifus. <laughs> oh my god. I instead, right? I instead, I showed her VR chat and I showed her a, a world in VR chat and she was like, "This is amazing. I love this." <laughs> I showed her, I think, Steam VR, the hub world, and she loved it. She really? thought it was amazing. It didn't make her, like, dizzy or anything? Uh, it made me dizzy, and it probably would make her dizzy if she was in it for too long, but she liked mm. it a lot. She was like, I would love to go on a vacation with this. Uh, <laughs> she I don't travel. know. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting her own, like, VR headset and trying to teach her how to use it. Aww. I think that'd be a nice Actually, gift for her. She also might like some VR games, depending on, like, what they are. Maybe, maybe. I have a Quest right now, and I have a VR model, but it doesn't work with the Quest, and I'm really sad about that because no. I fucked up the upload, so I have to re-upload it so it works with the Quest. But now if I, if a VTuber ever wants to be like, hey, Joel, do you want to hang out in VR? Which never happens, by the way. This is not a thing that happens. Like, the only person I can think of that actually asks people to do that is Camilla. Uh, I mean... I'd, I'd like to have a 3D model someday, so maybe if that day ever comes, then we can hang out, out in VR. VR. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I want to do a VR horror map with friends. <gasps> that sounds like so much fun! I've I love horror! Ever since my index broke, and I, I had to get a... Uh, and I, my friend gave me this quest, too. I've been wanting to do more VR with people because I have, you know, working VR now. So I want to do that. I love that. I think that'd be Hell really yeah. fun. I'll I also keep you want updated to play then. <laughs> VR games, but like... 
I'm never in the mood to just be like, let me get off my computer and play a VR game. Yeah, you know, I think maybe uh, if you streamed it, it's a good excuse. Yeah, but then I have to figure out how to, because I have a quest and you can't, I don't know, the quest just seems so fucking annoying to try to connect it to a computer. I w I, maybe I should just buy another index again, but <laughs> the wires are so annoying. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know the differences between them. Do you have VR? Yeah. What do you have? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know what VR I you got have? It, I got it a really long time what, ago. Is it I don't remember. No, it has a cord. Okay, is it... Is it is it like black? Is it like a Steam thing? Yeah. When you it's, play it, do you play through Steam? I haven't played it in forever. I think so. I think so. I think so. I haven't played it in forever. Chat, it's a USB C cable. No, it's proprietary. I'm pretty sure because it's Facebook and they hate us. The controllers have like the they're like round, round. with like joysticks. Like, like the rounded... Are they a the circle rounded... or are they a ball? Circle. It's like circular. They're like... Is it... A, maybe you have a quest? Is it... It's white? It's black. Which one did you black. say? It's black. It might be a quest if there's no wires. Wait, no, you said but there's there a wire. there are wires. A vibe? Is it a vibe? Oculus Rift? Is the headset kind of like bulbous? Like it's got yes. indents in it? It's a vibe. It's pretty it's, big. She's got an HTC vibe then. It's got like the weird indents on it for, for like flavor <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's got like weird texture on the actual headset. That's a, that's a vibe. <laughs> I've touched it maybe twice. It was, I, I got it like from, from somebody else, from a friend. Like they didn't want it. I, God. Oh, God, I, I, maybe I should get another thing. I feel like until I have like the Quest 2's cable. Chad, you keep saying it's a USB-C. How do I connect <laughs> USB-C to my computer? <laughs> the chat's trying to give me advice and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Explain. If there's a way I can connect my, you, you should my just quest listen to, to chat computer. more. They can probably figure it out for yeah, you. Do you listen to Quest more too? <laughs> or do you listen to chat more? <laughs> um... Sometimes. I don't know, man. It's USB-C to USB, Joel. Not that hard of a concept. Man, fuck you, chat. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I'm going to connect it, and then my computer's going to be like, all right, what now, jackass? Maybe what you should fuck? watch a YouTube video on it. You, to make, well, you know how many YouTube videos are unhelpful? Every okay, YouTube you know video many... is a specific <laughs> issue, and then it's always Fine, then the don't fucking use your VR. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just complaining, okay? <laughs> I know you are. I'm and we're chat. trying to listen, help. Listen. I connected to the PC chat, and then what? It's connected. Is it gonna? Let, am I gonna be able to play VR games? Are the VR games gonna be like, hey? Well, don't you need programs Ooh. downloaded? That's what I'm saying. Like, what's the program? I have no himbo allegations. Oh, it's an Oculus. I have an Oculus. It's not a. It's not a. You have an Oculus. Okay. The Oculus program is downloaded on my PC. Did you go to look at it? <laughs> <laughs> you can play Steam <laughs> VR games with a Quest 2? What the fuck? Why doesn't the Quest just have Steam on their on their store? Mm. Whatever, man. I don't know. To make you ask questions? That's a good point. <laughs> I hate Facebook. <laughs> This shit's what? fucked up. Huh? What's wrong with Facebook? They're the ones who made the quest. Oh. Because <laughs> it's meta. Remember, it's not Facebook. That's right. They got the Zucker world. We forgot. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Zucker world. My favorite. <laughs> Isn't that what it's called? Uh <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 like, janky VR 3D <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg world with the... the... <laughs> Jesus Christ. No! Ah, uh, yes. Zucker world. My favorite Zucker world. <laughs> Cinder, do you have a favorite video game? Okami. Oh, fuck. You, that is your favorite video game. <laughs> <laughs> you told me this before. Shit. Twilight Princess is my next favorite. Is it just solo play, single player games? What's your I favorite mean... multiplayer game? Uh. Oh, fuck. I stun locked her. Uh... 
Zucker World? I don't know. I don't play a whole lot of multiplayer games. That's fucked up. What about your I, friends? I mean, I grew up not playing a whole lot of games, and uh, I'm an only child, so I didn't have siblings to play with. <laughs> I didn't play anything with my fucking siblings. <laughs> I play with my cousins. We would play. We would play Sonic Adventure Two Battle all the time. So oh my and god! And Pokemon. Dude. I fucking want to play a Sonic game. I've been <gasps> thinking about that for a while. I've been wanting to play a Sonic game on stream at some point. Yo, I've been wanting to replay Sonic Adventure Two Battle on stream. <laughs> dude, can you? Wait, Yo, what is if? That available what if we hung play? out? I'll play Sonic Adventure. Do you want to play Sonic Adventure Two Battle? I don't, I don't know, know if we can play online name. together. <laughs> Yeah, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. It's almost it's on like Steam, uh, maybe. No, no, no. I don't think so. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. It's an it's fucking. I'm pretty sure that's Game Nintendo Cube. holding it hostage. Mhm. Mm no, no, no. We'll hang out. It's like what I was saying about uh, like being in that gaming lounge at the airport. There's just something different about playing games while you're sitting like that's next what I've to been your saying, friends. Yeah. Right. We should have like a VTuber vacation house where we can all hang out with like a bunch of PCs <laughs> and. Like, all stream and game together and shit while we're all sitting next to each other. <laughs> we all, everyone pitches in to rent a house for a day and goes over to fucking play games Yeah! Together. Right? I want to play Halo. I want to play Halo. I want to play Halo split screen with VTubers IRL. Yo, there's so many games. I think that'd be really fucking stupid and fun. Hell yeah! Can we do I that mean... in Vegas? I know everyone wants to hang I don't know do if I told you about this. <laughs> uh, at Anime Expo. I met up with a few of my mods and my editor and Red, and we all hung out in one of the the mods hotel rooms, <laughs> and we were gonna we were gonna play Switch games, right? And and so so he brings out the Switch, and he's like, "Wait a minute, I didn't bring my Switch dock because I didn't think we were gonna need it, and we, were gonna, we weren't gonna have time to like actually play games in the hotel room, and like nobody." Like, I think three of them brought their Switches, but nobody brought, like, the, the Switch dock. Nobody so... thinks, right? Nobody thinks they're like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll hang out. We have time to hang out. Well, they still wanted to play Smash anyway, so we had it set up, like, like leaned up against the TV in the hotel, and then we played on the tiny little, like, portable <laughs> Switch screen <laughs> out of five of us! <laughs> trying to fucking play Smash! <laughs> we were all just, like, huddled on the floor together. Jesus Christ. I the idea of everyone huddling around the tiny little screen is like <laughs> huddling around a campfire for warmth. Oh my god, it reminds me of um playing like I don't know, Mario Kart. One of those one of those games that splits the screen into like four with four players on one of those tiny like 90s square box TVs. Halo. <laughs> Yeah, we have like a tiny ass TV, and then it gets divided into fourths, and then you can like barely fucking see what you're doing. Dude, <laughs> you screen back those was a fucking rampant problem back in those days. Mm. What, what are you gonna do? Fucking be like, stop looking at my screen, right? Cheater. <laughs> I think it's funny. There's as fuck. nothing you can do. Oh God, she's still looking. <laughs> I'm looking. How do you know where I am? Huh? <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> True, yeah, that is a big problem. God, I can't wait for Vegas. I can't wait to hang out again. I'm so excited. We're gonna do so much fun stuff. We're gonna mm -hmm. hang out. We're gonna eat turkey legs together. Turkey legs? Why turkey legs? Medieval thing. Oh, I didn't that. know turkey legs. I'm oh. pretty sure that they have turkey legs. <gasps> oh. Isn't that a thing? I'm excited. I don't know. I'm pretty, I want to go to Heart Attack Grill. Oh, yeah. You and Numi are like, I'm going to drag gold at Heart Attack Grill. I'm going to die. No, no. Look, you eat only what you want if to eat. If I don't eat finish it, I'm going to get spanked. That, I'm not yeah, going to be able to finish point. the food. That's the whole point. You don't want to finish the food. I don't know if I want to get spanked in public. <laughs> you get spanked by a hot nurse. Everybody gets fucking spanked. Nobody can finish that shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm feeding into their fucking. I'm feeding into their fantasies. We're just gonna line up at her table, and she's just gonna. <laughs> she's just gonna go down the line. Jesus Christ, dude! What's she gonna do? <laughs> fucking make one continuous swing at everyone's ass? Yeah, it's gonna be like um, 
You know, you know when there's like a bunch of metal pipes and you take like a pen and it goes like, doo -doo 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 -doo, like down, like it's like that, you know, but with a, a yaoi metal paddle. Pipes and then the, they just drop them on the fucking floor for the sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> Why is that funny to people? Why is just metal pipes falling a fucking meme? It's it's funny because the audio is so blown out. It's just it's, it's just metal pipes on the ground. Why do you think that's funny, Chad? Their humor is broken. I hate that. I was actually I saw I saw this TikTok with a bunch of old memes like the. The really, really, really old ones, like first generation memes. Oh, the, and the like, eating cereal guy? Yeah. And it's like, all these memes weren't even funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, they just were not funny. And then I feel like, you know, another 10 years from now, people are going to look metal back on the pipes. metal pipe what shit the and they're going to be like, what the fuck? Although people think that nowadays, so maybe it won't take that long. <laughs> Well, I mean, everyone's got a scratch back against any kind of comedy, to be fair. Yeah, I guess so. Like, I, I do the Zoomer test occasionally. I haven't done it in a while, but I will look at somebody and I'll say a word and see if they laugh. And if they laugh, then I consider their humor broken. Well, to Talk. be honest, I'm a pretty giggly... <laughs> I'm a... <laughs> I laugh at everything! Oh my god! I have, a, I have a nervous laugh! I'm just nervous! I know, that's why I bring you on the stream. It makes me look funnier. <laughs> If I say a joke in Cinder Labs, it just makes me look incredibly funny. You are funny. What does one Joel <laughs> say to looking. another Joel? That's not funny. I don't want I don't want two Joels. One's enough. <laughs> wanna hear a joke? That's what the Joel fucking says to the other Joel. Wanna hear a <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> I'm gonna sound like James one day. My laugh's gonna turn into fucking James from Pokemon. <laughs> Dude, James is like on the verge of becoming Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if I make somebody laugh and their first reaction to laughter is <laughs> I'm gonna fucking lose it, dude. There's gotta be somebody who genuinely laughs like that. Do you think so? Do you think if we called all of our friends, like every single person we know, eventually one of them is gonna laugh like <laughs> I don't know about one of our friends. I hope so. <laughs> Out of all our friends, if you think, who do you think would have a fucking Scooby laugh? Um, Numi's got well, snorts. I, mean, I was gonna say, well, Numi kind of goes, yee -hee! That's kind of close. That's, close. Close, uh, that's close enough. <laughs> what if Cinder laughed? Or sorry, what if, what if Tricky laughed like Scooby Doo? <laughs> <laughs> Why Tricky? I don't know. I just think I think it'd be really funny if Tricky was the one to do it. <laughs> She's so cute. Can you imagine Tricky going, Ree? <laughs> no, I can't! Holy shit. Wait, that'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> it's so weird. Do you think we can call her? You think so? Wait, hold on. Wait, let me, let me ask her. Let me ask her. <laughs> Tricky. <laughs> we need you to laugh like Scooby Doo. <laughs> me and Cinder are on a call right now and <laughs> need. <laughs> <laughs> we I need, need you, you to, to laugh like <laughs> Scooby Doo. <laughs> Are you free? <laughs> I <fucking> can't. <laughs> she, she's like running around trying to get her debut all done, she's and she's like, "What the fuck, right John?" <laughs> No, you're my Her debut is literally in a few days. In a, I, put I know. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe if she sees my name, she'll be like, "Of course, I'll do it for Cinder." Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. What am I, chopped liver? No, you're Joel. You're right. I'm chopped limbs. <laughs> yeah. I'm even you're worse. porcelain. This is fucked up. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I, I would absolutely love that. 
If I could change my laugh, I would definitely make it the Scooby Doo laugh. You would? <laughs> Unironically? Dude, do you know how much funnier everything would be if I laughed at my own <laughs> joke and then you immediately hear, <laughs> What does one Joel say to another Joel? Want to hear a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, everyone in the room would immediately laugh if they heard that. <laughs> you, you, oh that's God. true, though. You, you're right, you're right. <laughs> you got Zoink me there. Scoob. <laughs> Do you have a favorite Scooby-Doo movie? Um, hmm. Mine, I think, is Zombie Probably Island. the Witch's Ghost, just because the Hex Girls. Because we're the Hex Girls, and we're gonna put, gonna a, put a spell on you. on you. Or spell, I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Zombie Island was so fucking spooky as a kid. I love that shit. True. Oh, God. Why do I like Scooby-Doo? Fuck. Because it's good. Oh, my God. <sighs> There's, like, nothing to dislike about Scooby-Doo. Yeah, I had right. a Scooby-Doo-themed birthday party when I was younger. What? Wait, mm -hmm. that's sick. I don't yeah. think I actually ever properly celebrated my birthday. I never had a birthday party and uh, unless I was like five past like five or six. I don't think I ever had birthday parties. Not even like with your family? Uh, I think they would sing me happy birthday. We would eat cake and then I would go and play get like Halo. Oh, well, that sounds like a good day. It was fine. I don't know. I don't know. I just never wanted to like have a birthday party. Yeah, parties make me socially tired. <laughs> You know what it was? It's because nobody in my family had birthday parties. So growing up, I was like, oh, okay. Well, I just won't have one either. Oh, okay. Like mom would be like, clean your room for my birthday. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> okay. I wrote you a card, but I'll go fuck myself, I guess. Aww. And my dad was like, ah, whatever. Uh, birthday, whatever. I'm old. And then my, <laughs> right? my, like, my sibling would always be like, eh. <laughs> so I was like, what the fuck? All right, cool. I just won't do shit. That's cool. I mostly liked birthdays because I knew I could get yummy dessert. Yeah, I think I stopped. That's I all I really a asked cake for. for my birthday in years. Every time, uh, like my mom, I bless my mom. I love my mom. She's wonderful. <laughs> she still gets me cake all these years for my birthday, which is really sweet. She always gets me like... <laughs> The last time I had a good cake was like four years ago. Uh, the what? last four years, every time she gets me cake, it's always a shitty cake and she never knows that it's garbage. But why don't you tell her? Like, hey mom, next I'm year for gonna, my birthday, I'd really know, love this kind of so cake. I'm so ungrateful to be like, mom, the cake that you got me was garbage. No, don't tell her that it was bad. Just be like, hey, you know, this is other cake that I think I'd really, really like for my birthday this year. And then <laughs> maybe she she'll gets remember. She me like the local grocer's market cake which is like oh no which is like, like with the over sugary frosting oh, yeah yeah exactly and like oh, the, it's no. like the dry cake and the overly frosted yeah. thing oh joel <laughs> I, my personal favorite cakes are ice cream cake anything <clears throat> with fruit in it and anything that isn't dry and those are my the ones mom, that i like my mom makes a cake that i think you would really 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 love so it's a it's a strawberry poke cake Ooh, and it's, it's vanilla cake yo okay so vanilla cake and then she pokes holes in it and then she makes like the cook like the cooked uh jello strawberry jello Ooh. and then while it's still while it's still warm and liquidy she pours it over on top of the cake so it seeps into the little holes in the cake and then she frosts it with cool whip and then puts fresh sliced strawberries on top of that that actually sounds really nice it's so good what especially the for the summertime it's so refreshing and yummy God, I want to it's easy that. to make too. You should totally make it. That really does sound good though. The fucking yeah. I, I've seen videos of like Jello on cake before, and I'm always like, that sounds kind of nice. Oh, chicken responded. <laughs> What'd she say? I can't laugh like Scooby Lamau. <laughs> Can you try a re? <laughs> I love her. I think if Tricky actually was able to pull that off, I think I would die. Like, I don't think, I think I would laugh so hard that I wouldn't be able to breathe anymore. <laughs> Not that I have lungs. I can attempt. All right, all right, let's bring her in. Let's bring her in. Hell yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Let <laughs> me bring you in. This is going to be so stupid, Cindy. <laughs> this is so dumb. 
<laughs> oh my god. Tricky. Why? I would just like to I, I would Hi. just like to say thank you for coming by for this. No problem. <laughs> Why, why Scoopy? <laughs> just, just give us a we were, we were laughing and every <laughs> laughter came up and we started laughing really hard and <laughs> and we thought, which one of our friends would be really funny if they just randomly laughed like Scooby too? <laughs> and we thought of you, I don't know, I don't know, I just thought it'd be really funny if you randomly did a re <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, listen to me. <laughs> oh my god! I can't breathe! I'm a dog and I can't breathe! Chicky, I love you so much! <laughs> we should we should all do it at the same time! One, two, three! <laughs> I, I hope I hope debut debut prep yeah. is going good, Tricky. Thank you, Tricky. I, I know I know I'm you're so probably in the middle of a lot, but uh, I'm so thank you. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited, <laughs> Tricky. You and me, we're having the same debut week. We stand together. We stand strong. <gasps> we're gonna debut together. Let's we go. We stand strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like zoinks. <laughs> like Scoob. <laughs> like Zoink Scoob. <laughs> Zoink Scoob. <laughs> Thank you, Tricky. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, Tricky. We love Bye, you. Bye, Tricky. We're so I excited to see you guys at the, the TwitchCon. Big love. Yes, I love you. I love you. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. I I'm so glad you called it. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Zoinks like Zoinks chat. That was totally <laughs> funny. <laughs> Wait, you actually sounded like Shaggy! <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit, Cinder. Oh, I can't fucking breathe. I gotta make a sandwich with at least 13 <laughs> piles of ham. <laughs> 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 Zoinks, man. <laughs> <laughs> like that was totally Gucci. <laughs> Gucci! <laughs> That's, that's, a, that's a new vocabulary word for Shaggy. How was that? How was that? That was pretty good. I feel like I can yeah. imitate his voice cracks really well. <laughs> yeah. It's a good Shaggy. Oh my god. It's the real Shaggy chat. <laughs> it's me. Shaggy. <laughs> Sh what's Shaggy. his last name? I don't even know. Fucking Shaggy P Peterson. How come Scooby-Doo only has a last name? Why does Scooby-Doo get a last name but not Shaggy? Shaggy-Doo. Oh, his name. <laughs> Matthew Lilliard is the actor's name. Oh, his yeah. name is Rogers. It's not, his real name isn't Shaggy, though. What's his real name? Oh. <laughs> Lavernius. Norville Shaggy Rogers? Norville! <laughs> Norville! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love Norville. We stand Norville oh in this chat. Oh my god. <laughs> I love Norville Shaggy Rogers. Wait. Oh yeah, Velma Dinkley. Yeah. <laughs> Reed. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop, dude. It's making me laugh too much. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, Shaggy is a Confederate uncle. I forgot that was part of the lore. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't know the lore goes so deep. Holy shit, yeah, Daphne Blake, uh, Velma Dinkley, mm. Norville Shaggy Rogers, uh, uh, Fred Jones. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, yeah. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you like the most? I feel, I'm a Shaggy person. I like Shaggy the most. I feel like most people like Shaggy the most. I like Scooby. That's also fair. I do like Scooby. Scooby's a silly little boy. He is a silly little guy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I always liked Shaggy. He just seemed like a really nice person. 
He's like the the comedic relief. That too. He's he see like I don't know. I would kill a man to hang out with Shaggy. I think that'd be fun. Uh, okay. <laughs> I like Shaggy. So, like, Shaggy Shaggy or, like, Matthew Lillard Shaggy? I like both of them. Matthew Lillard sounds like a nice guy, too. The actor. Hmm. He seems cool. I'm excited to see him in FNAF. Oh, my God, he's in FNAF! <laughs> yeah, he's a purple guy! What? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you didn't know? No, I don't keep up to date with fucking Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never even played any of the games besides Did Security Did you even Breach. watch the trailer? No. Yeah, William Afton. I, wow, holy shit. Mm -hmm. Isn't William Afton like the guy who made the game? Uh, no, that's Scott Coffin. <laughs> Coffin what? Coffin. <laughs> Coffin on this dick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, high five. <laughs> 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 okay. Alright. I think Joel's the, the purple guy. Wait a minute. Huh. I am purple. <laughs> Joel's the purple guy. Sorry, I'm he's laughing. The, he's the purple guy. I'm fucking going crazy with laughter today. I'm I'm learning that I can laugh really in different ways and I, I've never knew I never knew that I could do that laugh. Holy shit. Can you do like an evil maniacal laugh? <laughs> You're so goofy. <laughs> That's a goofy maniacal laugh. I was trying to copy, uh, I don't know if you've seen Red vs. Blue chat, but I was trying to copy uh, O'Malley from Red vs. Blue. Does he have a goofy maniacal laugh? Yes, it's like the goofy villain laugh. I love- wait, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> oh my god, it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> We're VTubers, it's on brand. I like how the last 30 minutes we've just laughed at the idea of laughter. <laughs> Literally no, the fucking no Scooby jokes shit. Have made. We've just been laughing at laughter. That's just peak content. Oh my god, I do like the Ojo Sama laugh. I think that well that's really cute to me though. I like Ojo Samas in anime. Mm. Like rich girls, like villainesses are like my favorite characters. Aww. I can, I gotta have a lot I gotta have like a really good lung capacity to do the Ojo Sama no, laugh. No, you dude. just have expensive taste. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'll have you know the most expensive thing I've ever bought in my life was the fucking V tour model. Thank you. <laughs> so yes, <laughs> expensive taste. That's for work. True. Uh, <laughs> because you got to do the oh ho ho, and you got to. It's like hard to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> try it. Try it. It's really hard to do. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I don't watch a lot of Ojo Samas. Um, it's not like. <laughs> Jesus Christ, your lung capacity, dude. I used to play a tuba. Well, I played a lot of low brass I instruments. I did fucking string. No wonder my voice is dying every stream. Yeah, trumpet, euphonium, baritone, and tuba. Maybe I need to learn how to blow more. <laughs> <laughs> I could teach you. Oh, fuck. Oh, I can Christ. Wait, wait, I'm not like. Hold on a minute. <laughs> She's trying to teach me how to blow no, somebody like, out. No, like the breathing help exercise. Me. No. <laughs> you wanna? I can. <laughs> I can teach you how to helicopter. Oh Jesus Christ! Have you ever? Have you ever heard me helicopter? What does that mean? I feel like I the helicopter that I know is very different from the helicopter you're talking about. No, 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 no! I can do a helicopter impression. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> okay, okay, just listen. Are you ready? <clears throat> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you like that? No way! <laughs> I'm a helicopter. Wait, 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 let me try, let me try. <laughs> Did you spit all over your mic? <laughs> no, I would never. You're like... Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I didn't accidentally spit on my mic trying to imitate you. <laughs> I don't 
know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh That's my god. Stupid, huh? <laughs> Sounded like a <laughs> wet balloon. <laughs> 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 Try proceeds to you spit. Do that? <laughs> it's one of my many talents. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, sometimes when you when you fuck around and find out, you can just discover uh, some really really cool stuff about yourself. I just learned how to do a weird laughter like a few minutes ago, so I guess you're right. <laughs> you learned how to laugh like Scooby Doo. <laughs> 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 I forgot how to do it. Never mind. <laughs> I did it perfectly earlier, and then I immediately forgot. Fuck. You just gotta. You you have to channel that inner villain. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked it up again. Oh. I did way better earlier. How did I forget already? All I the don't know. going to my brain cells. <laughs> We're getting high off of our own our own laugh, <laughs> laughter serotonin. <laughs> 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 there you go. <laughs> you fools! <laughs> you pathetic fools! <laughs> I'm gonna run out of breath, though. I can't breathe anymore. I'm getting lightheaded. Holy shit, I'm actually getting <laughs> Okay, okay, take a break. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I feel like I just ran a marathon. <laughs> Welcome to date night. Oh. Yippee. Is it usually like this? I don't know. You've been on here enough times to figure it out yourself <laughs> by now, right? I've been here like twice, dude. Three <laughs> times. No, this is your fourth. What? Really? We had date night. Damn. We had date night after playing Minecraft. Uh, we had date night after WeebCon. And now this is our fourth. I'm out of breath. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Drink more water. Die. I've never been this close to death on the, for the third time in my life <laughs> on a date night before. Wait, third time? Uh, yeah, I died, became a doll. Mm-hmm. And then, uh... See, uh, you the, the laughter is the laughter's fucking me up, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was the second oh time, right? Oh, my God. The drowning is a different universe, Cinder. Oh. That's all universe lore. We were still a doll. Well, like, if you're getting a Halloween outfit, right? Would you consider that part of the main main lore? No. I, if I get a Halloween... The, the nun outfit, I gave its own lore video because I want every outfit to have a lore video. But it doesn't mean the nun... The nun outfit is a completely different canon. Because hmm. of that. It's this just, outfit's connected to my lore. Well, this outfit's like a... Like a revitalization of yourself. It's an evolution. I'm just a demon. No. I'm just a silly little girl. You're not <laughs> just a silly little demon girl. You're our silly little demon girl. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Careful, you're gonna Yay! smack me with the tail if you get too excited. It's like that fan art that somebody drew of me setting your bonnet on fire. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> forgot about that. Holy shit. Uh oh, be careful. Dude, I be careful, ah, be careful. Relax, <laughs> I won't burn. You're just gonna make me naked on stream. <laughs> give the people what they want. No! <laughs> Chat, you're gonna be in good when he hey, debuts stop. this bikini uh, summer mod. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's I'm gonna way. give them what they need, which is a dosage of reality. <laughs> <laughs> a slap to the face and a re to keep them on their way. <laughs> Oh my god. That, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still catching my breath. Don't make me laugh, okay? I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm just uh, naturally very giggly. Wow, you're just naturally uh, incredibly funny and charismatic VTuber, huh? <laughs> you're so great at <laughs> whatever you do. I wish I could be like you one day, Cinder. I, I think you're talking to a different, a different VTuber. I wish I could be like Cinder when I grow up. No. I want to be Cinder VTuber. <laughs> You sure about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Riz, yeah. Ooh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do enjoy. Oh my enjoy God. that. Cinder, what games have you been playing off stream lately? If you have been playing any. 
I haven't really had time to play any games off stream, but um You've been playing Baldur's Gate? No. Alright, cool. I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> Thanks for just uh, completely disengaging that conversation. I started <laughs> You asked me you. a question and I answered! I, I don't keep play. it up. I didn't think you were just gonna say no and then shut me out. <laughs> hey, how's your day going? No. <laughs> That's not what Bye. happened! <laughs> See you later. Go fuck no, yourself. Um, I have been playing more like Genshin and Honkai Star Rail. Oh, you actually like those? I thought it yeah. was a meme. No. <laughs> yes. I have fun. They're, great they're like games. the they're perfect great games. I like them. They're... No, for me, they're they're the perfect game to just kind of turn your brain off. It's like Minecraft. It's like yeah. you just explore and collect shit, and it's so satisfying. I really like Genshin just like beating up monsters. It. Uh, mm. But I also played Genshin after I beat Breath of the Wild, so I was oh. looking for a game to to you know replace that. And my favorite part of Genshin was exploring everything and having fun with that. Uh, I feel like I fell off with Genshin after more and more people kind of made a meta game for it. We're like, you're not raising your characters properly. Yo, you're not <laughs> fucking using the proper equipment. He's gonna be shit. The Shut hardcore up. Genshin. I want my Noel to have the fucking players. big hammer weapon weapon because i think it's funny <laughs> or the big like there's a big fish weapon that was from an event there's a fish weapon yeah it's literally like a fucking fish claymore <laughs> but it's just a fish oh. <laughs> maybe i will play genshin again i mean i downloaded it back on my phone to see how many characters i had so uh, the last time i played genshin oh yeah didn't you like mm -hmm. lose your account i did i can actually open it up again so the last time I had, I, I recovered it. I, it took me a while. I had to go back to one of my, the old Genshin Impact video I had and find the UID I had for account recovery. No way. So if I <laughs> didn't make a Genshin Impact YouTube video, I would never get my account back. Wow. So well, I'm glad that worked out. Yeah, Dustin, thank you for the raid. Welcome to the stream Hello. Raiders. If you follow the stream, you gain three extra inches to your dick size, big love. I don't want to do yes. I'm running out of breath, so I can't do my full thing anymore. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> but back when I had Genshin, uh, so I played Genshin and I stopped fully playing it when Zhongli came out. Um, Damn, that's but, like when I first started mm -hmm. playing. So like, I or I first it, heard about it, rather. I played it every day doing my dailies until Zhongli came out, and then I stopped. And then I would come back occasionally. Wow, you fucking hate Zhongli. No, no, I like Zhongli. Uh, <laughs> but what happened was I had every character except for five. So I didn't have Jean. I didn't have Mona. I didn't have uh, Kaching. And all the all the banner five stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> I think that was it. I had literally every other character from the game at that time. Mm. And I didn't. I only spent three hundred dollars when the game first came out, and I got all those characters. You spent money? Yeah, when the, the, for the first month, and then I stopped. Gotcha, okay. <laughs> Wait, no, gotcha. that's why... Ah, they call it that because that's how they get you. Yeah, that's the whole thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who's my favorite in Genshin Impact? Uh, D. Luke! I like Beto and Jean. I think Beto is my favorite, though. I love Ito, probably mostly because his VA is just so fucking good. Like, the, the energy and personality that he puts into the character is oh. just so, well, so my, good. You know, my personal VA is uh, that one guy who did the voice acting for Sino. That's actually my well, favorite uh, Genshin Impact voice actor. Well, um... Not biased. You know, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say. Is this, I have a feeling. This, uh, I, I think I know who you're talking about. I think I've seen him around before. Guy? I think his name is like Alejandro. Oh, I thought I thought he went by a different name. Oh, he. he uh, I, what was it? Was it Kagi? No, it was Sayu. That's his name. I don't know who these fucking. I don't know who Kagi or Alejandro is. What? What? what uh, Joel, pay weirdos. attention. Gilgamesh. Fifty gifted subs. Holy shit, Gilgamesh! Let's go! Gilgamesh, you. you have a fat dick, a fat <laughs> wallet, and even fatter what? hearts. Thank you for the 50 gifted subs. Big love to you, homie. You're so generous. <laughs> That's what I say when somebody gives subs. You have a fat dick, a fat heart, even fatter wallet. Thank you so much for the generous donation. That's so funny. <laughs> How did I not remember that? <laughs> you 
just gotta give subs to me more, Cinder. We have to we have to share the same five dollars back and forth until we lose yeah, money and true. give it all to Twitch. Hell yeah. Or you know what? We wait for uh October. Don't they change like the splits? Yeah, dude, the partner plus program. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. I We should do that so that we get we get uh more of our five dollars back. <laughs> That's crazy. Now it makes sense to actually give money to each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I um what is it? So, so I'm uh, saving up money to buy a house, or sorry, to not break immersion chat. I'm saving up money to fix and renovate the mansion. Ah. Yeah, see, no immersion break. So nice. I, uh, I'm really excited for the partner split so I can gain like a little bit more money. And I don't think it's gonna be a massive amount. Like, what do you mean? Well, so for those of uh, there's probably chatters that don't know what we're talking about so, so yeah 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 do you want to explain it since you already started yeah talking? so there were some requirements that needed to be hit over the past a uh, couple months i think the past three months or so mm -hmm. and if you hit these requirements then <laughs> come october the 50 50 revenue split changes from 50 50 to 70 30. so instead of getting half of the profits from subs like we do now we are going to be getting 70 percent of the finally. profit finally <laughs> so uh we will be getting more of uh like a bigger cut from Basically subs from 20, twitch or 20 percent more chat what the mm -hmm. fuck? so Joel, there's a little bit of backstory. I need to explain the backstory. Gilgamesh and Agent literally fight each other in my fucking chat to, to top like who's on the leaderboard for I subs. I the wrong <laughs> chat for this. <laughs> they want to support you too. Your Cause you're awesome, Joel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why are you fighting each other here? <laughs> What the fuck? Holy shit, Agent, thank you! Agent, thank you for the 50 gifted subs! You have a <laughs> fat cock, a fat heart, <laughs> and an even fatter wallet. Thank you for the generous donation. Holy they really shit! They just came into my chat, unzipped, and slapped themselves onto the table, huh? <laughs> they like they to assert dominance. They like, yo, what's up? Here you go. <laughs> like, what, no, hey, hello, hi, how are you? You're just gonna come in and slap that shit? Uh, but yeah, you guys, uh, if y'all if y'all like to uh, sub every now and then, you should <laughs> definitely do it in uh, October because more of the the profit split will go it to is, the streamer. Three hundred and fifty paid subs. Thank you for the thousand biddies, Gilgamesh. Mm. Yo. So if you have three hundred fifty paid subs, you get the seventy thirty split for an entire year, and then after the year they is over, if you be... don't have it, it's gone again. They have to be Paid like um, subs. individual subs, not, not like gift, gift subs. subs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which I have. But as long as you meet those requirements, then then you're eligible for It'll help. the partner plus. I'll yeah. get a little bit of a. Well, I I don't. Twenty percent's a massive boost. I don't know. Why I keep saying a little bit. Well, I think they said up to a certain amount of money, and then it goes back uh, to fifty. Up to one hundred and twenty thousand, which I do not think I'm going to. One hundred and twenty thousand. Okay. <laughs> I highly okay, that's, make that's pretty generous. Twenty thousand dollars a year. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Never underestimate the Giga Chats. Hell yeah! I guess so. Gee, fuck, dude. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you feel better? Sly. Mm. Do you breathe fire when you sneeze? No, I'm a hellhound, not a dragon. Can you breathe fire as a hellhound? No. I can make my mouth really hot. I can't like I can't like flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay. All right. Hold dude. on. All right. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What the fuck? I have I have a very extensive out of context series on my YouTube for a reason. No, I get that a lot too. My editors keep clipping anything that is slightly sexual, and I just want to beat the shit out of uh, Ollie for that. Teams, thank you for the thousand minis, big love. I made uh, what, was the, uh, what was the recent out of context thing, chat? I made a clip where uh, I was wh I was talking about why is, uh, sunflower seeds have flavoring on the outside of the shell, and I said something like, "If it's going in my mouth, it's not coming out." <laughs> what? Like if it goes in my mouth, I'm not taking it out, and that was in co in the context of. I'm not gonna spit out the sunflower seed shells. I, if I put it in my mouth, I just want to eat it. I don't want to have to spit something out. 
So like if so you, you eat bone swallow, and chicken, like, like I'm not gonna eat the bone. No. But you're the you're not a spitter. The context is, if I eat something, <laughs> if I'm eating bone and chicken, I don't want to have to take the bone out of my mouth. I just want to eat the chicken and swallow. That's why you hold the bone in your hand and you eat around the Cinder, bone. it's different. <laughs> What don't you understand? <laughs> so what about what about like um cherries pits in them? Yeah, I don't like that. I it's okay. just too much of a hassle. Like I don't want to have to take like I legitimately don't want to have to like spit out the pit. If I because hmm. if I eat something, I just want to eat it. I don't want to have to spit. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Stop. Talking about spitting and pits and. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> what? What uh -huh. is he talking about? What uh -huh. did he mean by <laughs> that? Job joke, uh, it's Joel, uh, shut up! Shut Nobody up, said that. Him. Nobody. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Gilgamesh, thank you for another sub. Big love. Oh my God, they really. You guys are so one. sweet. Technically, the leaderboard is now four-way tie. Gilgamesh, what? Agent, Mr. Bite, and Solaris all have 50. And now <laughs> Gilgamesh and Agent both have 51. That's so... <laughs> this is a four-way tie. That's so funny. <laughs> no, technically... Um... You thought this was a duel? No. <laughs> <laughs> we aren't doing this again. Hey, you know, if you guys want to do it, I'm not going to say no to it. <laughs> I'm saving up money for a house. If you guys want to, you know, throw your money at me, I'll take it. I love how you mentioned that because I talk about uh, like saving up to help my dad because he's been building a house too. Or he's building a house for for myself and my parents. He's and like, what is he doing it all himself? He's putting down the fucking foundation. He's making the concrete. Uh, if you say much. yes, I'm gonna so, lose my mind. What? So so hear me out. It all started with what him buying this huge like plot of land like this big property okay and then he made his own blueprints for the house got them approved by a licensed architect what the so that way it's all up to code and everything and then he's taking those blueprints and he he sold his boat and bought an excavator or, or like a backhoe it's a kind of like an excavator so he bought a backhoe and then he started leveling out the property and like digging up all the trees all by himself and my mom helped pick up sticks too but of course i'm like you know busy streaming trying to you know try to Holy make some money shit. to help him out and um so he he got the the concrete poured for the foundation uh he obviously had to hire a company to like pour the concrete to get it to the house to the, the yeah. property but then he he did all the plumbing and the pipes himself uh and now he's like framing the house and and getting all the the wood pieces all nailed together and stuff so oh. yeah he's he's making a decent amount of progress it's gonna I'm be two stories just so i'm gonna have like money. my own <laughs> I'm trying to buy a house well, that that's has a the deep thing. connection to me, but like, I'm not fucking building anything, damn. Well, I was able to pay for the concrete for my dad because I was able to make enough from that's streaming so to help sweet. him out. Yeah. <laughs> I remember going to the bank and I was like, I'm buying concrete for my dad because he's <laughs> building a house. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm right now, like... I I'm just, I have to cut down on like debuts and stuff, so I can't do a lot of cool things for Chad as much as I want to. Hmm. So I'm trying to do low cost stuff. Like I'm gonna do a, a sock puppet VTuber show soon. Oh, I love that! So I'm gonna make a sock puppet of some friends and then invite them on and do a little VTuber show. VTuber That's show. so cute. Just so I can cut down on costs and like try to do everything. I love that. That's a creative idea. <laughs> I also would like to help my family with money too sometimes. Like, I'm buying a house from my mom so she can mm. buy a house that won't fuck up her knees. Aww. Yeah. Like a more like like one story level? Yeah, she's old. <laughs> she doesn't look old, hear that. but she's old. <laughs> All my life I had to grow up listening to people being like, why does your mom look like she's in her 20s? Damn. Bro, like, what the fuck? Joel, Joel, it's called mom, hair dye, looking kinda... <laughs> Meanwhile, my dad's, like, busting ass, building a whole <laughs> ass house. And my mom's just supervising. 
<laughs> my mom's got a, a parent. Well, my it's because my mom worked in like salon stuff uh, growing mm. up, so she was able to do that more. That's probably yeah. why she fucking still looks young. And then that being said, every time I ask my mom about how to take care of myself in terms of like facial products and like hair care, she's just like, go fuck yourself. I'm not gonna tell you shit. <laughs> what? My mom was like toxic masculinity grump. She was like, ah, whatever. You're a man. You don't need to worry about that. And I'm like, mom. But your hair is literally so fucking nice. Thank you. I use <laughs> shampoo. <laughs> I don't, I, fucking use, old, so. I don't use two in, in 14 in one. That's why it looks nice for a man. You better use soap to wash yourself. What the fuck? <laughs> Anonymous, thank you for the Ford Gilgamesh. Thank you for the five gifted subs. You guys have a big dick, a big heart, even bigger wallet. Thank, thank you so much. You. Thank you for supporting the bestie. Ooh, thank you so much. <laughs> I hope after this, uh, you guys go and spend lots of money on Cinder. Stop it. So she can go and buy they more concrete. They spend enough on me. Well, uh, we have enough concrete, uh, but... <laughs> go spend money on concrete. Actually, I went on a little adventure looking at windows and doors with my parents the other day. And they were like, these are the doors and windows we're thinking about. Do you like them? And I was like, yeah, they're windows and doors. And they're like, okay, we're getting these. <laughs> I thought you were going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not picky. I mean, as long as so right now I live with uh, like housemates. Yeah. And I pretty much took over the basement. And the ah, problem with that, I am a, unfortunately. <laughs> but all? it's like my desk and my bed are the only things like in this room. So I sleep and eat and work and have relaxed time all in the same space. And it's like awful. <laughs> I don't know, man. So Is there anything... it'll be nice. Sorry, go on. Yeah, no, it's just like really, I don't know. I feel like I can't, the, the work-life balance is kind of thrown off in that sense. That's why I think once I get a house, I want to ask Ironside, one of our lovely sponsors, chat, <gasps> uh, use code GamerMade to get either 10% off or free shipping on your Ironside PC parts. Hell yeah. I want to ask them if they'll send me a computer so I can separate my work and personal life by having two different computers. That would be awesome. Which I would really like because I think that'll help a lot. I would make this computer that I'm on right now my personal computer and then I would go and make a work computer in another room. Also, yeah, like a super juiced up beefy yeah, yeah, gamer I don't PC. Know, man. I feel like it would help a lot just because sometimes when I'm not streaming, I still think about work and I can't relax. Like I'll mm -hmm. play a game and then I see like my Discord <laughs> I know that or I'll too see well. like my Google Calendar and sponsor uh, Trello or sometimes open, when like, you're oh, playing God. a game, sometimes I feel guilty because it's like mm -hmm. it's like I could be streaming this right now. That's why I mainly uh, only played hentai games or games that I find too boring <laughs> to stream. You cannot. You physically cannot <laughs> stream hentai games, and if a game is too boring Don't to stream, play then I play Pop. that. Honey Pop, Honey Pop, whatever Honey it's Pop. called. What the fuck? Whatever that fucking game is with the girls with their tits out. Yeah, yeah, Honey Pop is great. Did you know <laughs> that a friend of mine is a voice is a voice actor in Honey Pop? Ooh. Yeah, they're actually Sayu's significant other. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scylla, they did the voice of, I think, Tiffany in Honey Pop. The, uh, I love the that. That's, gotta, that's so cool to, like, say. Yeah, it, yeah it's so I'm a cool VA and a... V2, or v voice actors and VTubers, I guess. Right? I don't know if yeah. I told you, I actually hung out with Alejandro. Yeah? For a little bit, yeah. Oh, we, I'm so Nobody sorry had a party. You had to hang out with my bad. <laughs> that fucking guy, am I right? I felt bad because it was my fourth party in a row, and then I ended up falling asleep on Numi's couch. Wait, you and met him in IRL? Yeah! You met him before I did! I hang out with that fucker every other month! <laughs> Every, I mean, like, every week! I was like, yo, what's up? <laughs> and, um, Jonah was there, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, uh, he came to my but... meet and greet at Anime Expo when I had a meet oh, and greet there. Oh, that's cute. I got to see him. Apparently, he saw me, and he was like, is that Joel? And I saw him in the line, and the, I was talking to a fan, and then I was like, Thank you so much for coming by to meet me. And then immediately after the fan left, I was like, I see you, bastard! Get over here! <laughs> I see you in the background, you fucker! Aww. 
It was so nice. I want to meet uh, him and Monarch. Both keep fucking missing me every convention they go to. I hate that. I'm so annoyed. They're always at other conventions. I'm like, why are you not at the convention that I'm at? Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> this you hate me? All from me yesterday. <laughs> this is wait. This, well, fuck. This is all from me. Yesterday was a collective gift total of over ten thousand dollars from me, Agent and Droid. Who the f What the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> Y'all threw $10,000 at Cinder yesterday? I mean, maybe in like sub money. What were you doing yesterday? I was literally just building Legos. Dude, what a life. <laughs> I know. Yippee, I'm building my Lego set. <laughs> I am are just like, I'm $10, like. $10,000. Wait, what the fuck? $10,000? <laughs> well, Twitch, Twitch, takes, Twitch takes a cut. This That's the thing with the subs. Yesterday half. was a collective gift total mm -hmm. of over $10,000. Thank you for the 500 Gilgamesh Big Love. Android. Again, you have a big dick, a big heart, even bigger wallet. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, it was a little like cherry blossom I tree. I appreciate all the subs, guys. Agent, thank you for the seven gifted subs. You have a big dick, a big heart, even bigger wallet. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Ooh, thank you, Shinder Our fans. communities are so freaking sweet. Who are some of my big spenders in the community? Solaris. That's not important. Uh, Mr. Bite. <laughs> uh, he keeps going. <laughs> uh, me, every time I lose a bet. It's not about the size of the wallet. I it's about I... the size of the heart. And the cock. Okay, uh, maybe size isn't, isn't everything. Oh, now you say it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, as long as you're a nice person, like, I oh will I would be happy to have you here. If you're going to be an asshole, I don't want you around. I'm not, listen, if I'm going with somebody, it's not for, if I'm going to go on a date with somebody, it's not for fucking sex, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> if I'm going to go on a date with somebody, they better have a fat cock. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> no, I don't give a shit if uh, somebody spends a lot of money to Joe me. Casually trying what to I care about is, uh, you know, I actually don't. I just want, if everyone gave me, like, if everyone just does one paid sub, I actually don't want people to, like, spend their life savings on me. Oh, no, no I way. Know, it's surprising. I, I, As a Twitch streamer, I don't want my chat to spend their life savings on me. Like, if they want to spend money, I'd much rather them buy, like, like merch or something so they get something back from it. We get you know, suspicious they get something out if of somebody it. sends me too much money. I don't. I just cry. <laughs> if somebody sends me too much money, I'm like, what? Wh wh why? Huh? What are you? What are you doing? What do you? What do you fucking send me so much money for? Huh? I'm looking at you. What do you want? From Meanwhile, me? I'm I'm blubbers, lubbers, blubbers. What do you want? Sobbing, you want spit crying, on me? You want little me baby. Bath water. I'm not doing it. Why are you spending so much money on me? <laughs> I was like, what do you want from me, really? What are you looking for? Huh? What are you looking for? <laughs> I'm looking at you. I'm suspicious. Mm. Thank you for the bitch, Agent and Teebs, and Church. Thank you, guys. Mm. That makes me happy. Joel House Fund. That's true. New and House when Fund. I get a house, I'm gonna change everything around here. Yeah, don't forget to pay your Joel tax. Like I'm gonna put a carpet over the boulder in the background. <laughs> that'll hide it. That'll that'll fix it. Nice oh, and God, easy. What do you mean fix it? It's just gonna make it a little bit more comfy. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Can I say one of my favorite things is going to your stream and hearing people say the cheese tax and give you money? <laughs> they say, they, they call the it the cinder tax. tax. The cheese tax. The cheese tax. That used to be a sound alert. <laughs> it's because you... Because what? Damn. It's because you are related to the cheese tax sound effect. Uh, oh. You know, it's because... Uh, I don't know. I'm... You seem like you would be one of those creatures in the cheese tech videos that would like cheese. Mm, the rules are the rules and the facts are the facts. And when the cheese drawer opens, you gotta pay the tax. The cheese tax. Cheese <laughs> the tax. cheese tax. <laughs> it's so good. And the fact that they it, sung it. It actually is, goes hard. <laughs> and they sing it in like the fucking uh, like baby voice. It, it's so different. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I know, I just like that a lot. I like the idea of cinder tax. No. Yeah, I do. I think it's cute. They're literally like, okay, you don't want cinder tax? Here's your ice cream fund to buy ice cream. Yeah. Oh, you don't want that either? Here's here's it's the house fund like to you. give the Papa Wolf. We like but you. I like maybe cinder. that's my my side of the imposter syndrome. I don't feel like I, I deserve that much. Ah, well, go fuck I'm yourself. Just, we didn't ask for I'm your opinion. <laughs> Take the money. I'm just trying to have a good time. I'm just, I'm just 
Street. Oh, I don't need more. Don't I don't do need this. Opinion, give her more money. This is Joel's stream. Shut up, Joel. Go Take your money. Right now and give her subs. <laughs> no, no. Did if you, you guys start another hype train on my offline chat, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Hi, Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. Yippee. Hi, Hello. Jeremy. Hello. 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 I love Jeremy. That's my favorite thing is whenever uh, a friend of mine is being like negative about themselves, I'm like, hey, shut the fuck up. I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> Did I ask? Shut up. <laughs> I told my friends to, to shut up too. <laughs> I don't give a shit if you don't like yourself. I like yourself. Go, go fuck Aww. yourself. I like you. Joel's like the best kind of friend to have. Why don't you so agree, aggressive. chat? You're that. like, it's like, it's like, um, it's not cuteness aggression. It's like, it's like affection aggression. Affe uh, well, aggressive affection. <laughs> aggression affection. I uh, like that better. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the aggression same affection. Thing. Thank you for all the biddies, guys. Dear, thank you for the five. Anna, thank you for the five. Big love. Do you know the song Resurrection by Erection? Are you just rhyming? Are you just rhyming now? No, I was saying that the affection, affection, aggression reminds the me affection of resurrection erection? by erection. Yeah, it reminds me of that. Ah, uh, yes, the affection erection, resurrection. <laughs> no, I didn't mean no. No, you're mixing up the words. <laughs> oh, sorry, the aggressive erection, resurrection. <laughs> the aggressive erection, full of affection for your resurrection. There you, there you go. <laughs> what the fuck? Affection erection. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, God. I can't. I can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My chat made me sing that song for karaoke one time. I've never and, heard it. Ever. ever since then. Yeah, it goes like Resurrection by erection. Raise your phallus to the sky and you're never gonna die. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of the two things that I do, which is the fuck your fears thing. And then the thing where I always say, if there's a ghost in my house, I'm taking my pants off and looking around. Oh, you're haunted? Well, I'm haunted. <laughs> <laughs> How would you know there's a ghost if the ghost, you can't see the ghost? I don't know. Uh, you get a feel for it. Is that another <laughs> joke? <laughs> You take your pants <laughs> off and you feel for it. Well, okay, okay. I, uh, my thing was I like fu the idea of fucking your fears, where you take something you're afraid of and making it into a hot monster girl. That's just like the the definition of is it in yet? <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking a ghost. Is it in yet? I don't feel cold. <laughs> is it there? I fucking can't. I'm so sweaty. Is it there? <laughs> Do you have like ghost hunting tools? I can feel the ectoplasm. Ew! Ew. <laughs> <laughs> it's a male ghost. <laughs> Surprise! Ah, I feel the river sticks coming on to me. Joel! <laughs> 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 I can't oh my tell. god. Oh, the crack in my cheek is rumbling because I'm laughing too much. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh my Cinder god, I giggly, can't. Man. Cinder makes me giggle. No, no, I'm just actually fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm just, I'm just an idiot. I'm just a dumbass. Yeah. I'm just stupid. I'm a dipshit. <laughs> Jesus a Christ. dipshit that could potentially get your stream bonk. Mm -hmm. As long as you keep that fucking necklace on, I feel like it's not gonna get my stream bonked. What about my sleeves? It's a little hot in here. Alright, alright, hold on a minute. <laughs> Don't give the hand fetish people their thing. Oh wait, that's me. I fucking love that. Wait. <laughs> Dude, I think hands are really oh, pretty. Should I not show my hands? I like hands. I think hands are pretty. Are you gonna be weird about it? No. He's gonna be weird about it. That's fucked up. <laughs> I think I have the nicest hands out of every VTuber. Oh, well, humble brag. Look, 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 look. I have nice hands. They are porcelain. 
Wait, I can do the thing! You look like you're preaching. <laughs> I'm doing the thing. <laughs> I love that. It's the dog thing. Yeah! Yippee! Well, I can <laughs> preach. I can also do this, like... What the You're fuck? so cute. Oh, you look nervous. Actually, Don't I'm incredibly nervous. handsome and sexy and masculine. <laughs> I don't know if you can't... Do you feel that? That's my testosterone radiating uh, energy. Oh. Is that what that is? Yeah. <laughs> do you feel the need to, to, to be toxic, ma uh, toxic masculine? Um, no. <laughs> oh, you don't feel my that that radiation off of me? No. You don't want to go tell like a like a, a little a little guy to stop crying after getting like a cut on his finger? Toxic no. masculinity. You don't feel I the need the to go tell men like that they shouldn't feel person. emotions. That's crazy. I, you know, normally people get I would that never. around me. No way. You just turn people into assholes? Dude, growing up, I I played uh, soccer all the time with some friends in my neighborhood. And one of the one of these friends, right? Constantly, every time I would cry from getting hurt, they'd just be like, stop crying. What are you, a bitch? Huh? What are you, a <laughs> stupid little bitch? Stop crying. So I you know was something like, I never uh, understood. Okay, I'll stop crying. But I'm also going to be, I'm going to resent you for the rest of my life. <laughs> Why is it that when somebody wants you to toughen up, they say, like, grow some balls, even though balls are fucking weak as shit? And then when you're being like a wuss, they call you a pussy. But that shit has babies popping out of those. Those can take a fucking beating. Why is it so backwards? Um, Maybe they just like men. They just want to see more balls on people. Damn, that's a good argument. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, well, you know what? Could you, if somebody trains their balls to be like rock hard? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> how? Fucking how? That sounds like a medical problem. Oh you should God. probably get that shit checked out. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. What if there's somebody out there with balls of steel? Like, you, they can't get hurt. I think that's a like a, a play on words. They rent him out as like a punching bag. <laughs> that's not a punching bag I want to touch. I don't know. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty funny kind to of punch bags somebody in the punching. balls. <laughs> if I got a punching bag and they were shaped like balls, I think that'd be funny. Well, yeah. Did you see Tob's uh, Crocs with the balls on them? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Tob had... Tob, Tob has these uh, Lightning McQueen Crocs. What the fuck? And she put these little, like, like ball sacks on the back. <laughs> you know, I've only talked to Tob once IRL at conventions. I've Tob never, is so fucking funny. I've never actually hung out with her as a VTuber or just, like, hang out in general. But every time I hear stories about Tob's, it's the most out-of-pocket, wild <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> I've ever heard of in my entire life. Every time we're at like a party together in person, we and we're both drunk, we're, we always get like fucked up at the same time, and then we always like bond and we have like these deep ass conversations <laughs> while we're fucking wasted and we're like, oh, damn. <laughs> the only time I've ever hung out with you while you're wasted, you try, you almost fucking killed me. I did not. I, I gave you a my hug. My brain open. No, I gave you a hug and then I fell. <laughs> You fucking tripped while trying to hug me and I almost fucking yeah. died. I'm sorry. That was really funny, though. That's a funny <laughs> story. I like telling that story. Was that before or after I had alcohol spilled on me? Did somebody spill alcohol on you? Yeah, Rain did. <laughs> so she... I was sitting fair, on the couch. That entire night, she would come up to me and be like, hey, drink, Joel, Joel, drink this. I think you'd really yeah, like this. Dr that's what she did. Drink this. <laughs> And I'm like, Ray, I'm not gonna drink anything. Stop. No, well, well, everybody started mixing the 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 hard liquor with gamer subs, and then it the ended up being blast. really, really yummy. Yeah. So I was sitting on the couch, you know, like the couch facing the like the dance floor. Yeah. In the VIP section, and I was just chilling there, right? Like people watching. Yeah, and yeah. she comes over to me, and she's like, "Cinder, try this." And then she straddles my lap and she sits on me. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like eye level with her titties. 
and she <laughs> and so so I was comfortable like lowering my mask because she was like like her body was blocking the sea of people from seeing me so I was like okay cool and so she's pouring it into my mouth she didn't like let me take the cup so she was pouring it into my mouth but because she was fucking wasted she missed and it literally went everywhere and like inside my mask because it was under my chin and it just got all over my face and she's like uh oh Bro, you gotta wipe your face my mask reeked of fucking alcohol I got a different one though but, but she was like oh no here wipe your face and she like shoves her boobs in my face <laughs> every time I hang out with Rain I always treat her like like my son and then every time somebody else hangs out with Rain she's like I this. <laughs> Rain acts like an old man. She's like, you're looking, you're looking really <laughs> cute today, Cinder. <laughs> that party was so fucking crazy. <laughs> and then, um, Claro brought in like a shit ton of boxes of chocolate, and I didn't like it. I didn't know. It I didn't know it was from him. It. Yeah, I love nuts. I don't like nuts and, and chocolate. I fucking love that shit. Give me, give me your nuts and chocolate. Give me your chocolate and covered I nuts. I like spicy nuts. I'll eat them. Spicy nuts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When they got like what? like spicy. I don't like when nuts are sweet. I like nuts in like a spicy sense. Like when there's like seasoning on it. Like uh, you ever had like the the? <laughs> they'll just say Asian nuts on the back. <laughs> <laughs> no. Am I, am I crazy? There's there's like yes. a Trader Joe's thing that's just Asian <laughs> nuts. Huh. That's different. I've never heard those Hazelnuts before. are different from like other nuts. Hazelnuts work in chocolate for me. Like oh, Ferrero yeah, I do Rocher like is different than a fucking peanut bar. I think the ones that he brought were macadamia. I didn't like macadamia nut chocolate. But anyway, so they were like those um those boxes, those flat boxes with the yeah, little yeah, yeah. chocolates in them. And there was a there's a bunch of them. So I didn't know this at the time because I was drunk. But uh, Kami came over to me with two, like one of each kind of, of chocolate box. And he was like, Cinder, you like chocolates, right? And he handed me these two boxes. And I was like, I love chocolate. Thank you. And we were both like fucking wasted. And then I ended up going back to my hotel room with these chocolates. And then when I sobered up and I like woke up the next day, I was like, did I fucking steal these? Oh my God. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember getting these these chocolates. You I don't bring remember where I got like, them. Guys, I think I stole these chocolates, and they're like, no, no, those were gifts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I put two and two together, and, and they're like, no, 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 like, please take the chocolates. I was like, oh my god, I, I would have felt like so embarrassed if I accidentally just fucking stole somebody's no, chocolates. No, I stole shit. I stole merch from the the Uwe Market booth. I stole merch of mine. I, I was you like, stole it? bro, it's me. And I'm okay. I'm allowed to take this, so I just took <laughs> some of my shirts. What the hell? <laughs> what? It's me. That's not, I, what am I not allowed? Yeah, but but still. Eh, it's fine. They gotta keep track of inventory. I have not gotten my cardboard cutout yet. <laughs> Neither have I. It's probably because I stole shirts, and now they can't keep track of inventory. <laughs> it's probably why. Well, they got they have, they're gonna have to get updated ones I also for stole next year all anyway. Of the uh, jerky that uh, Claro had. Claro had like the really thin tri yeah. jerky and I just took all of it. I was like, Claro, give me three of those. You're not gonna, it, 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 nobody else needs them. Give me four. I have no well, food in my he room. Brought them. He brought them to share with everybody. <laughs> yeah, no, he brought them to share with me. Give me more. It is pretty good jerky though. And I just took all, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm like bullying him. I'm like looking at him because I'm like the, I'm like the alpha tall man. And like, <laughs> I'm fucking standing over him. Claro, give me all of them. <laughs> Oh, you want to sh- I don't care. Give me all- I'm doing the, the cat emote in the chat. I'm just standing over him. <laughs> Claro? No, not the fucking standing you cat! You will give me all of them. I want all four bags of jerky. I'm going to eat this all in one night. That's kind of selfish. Yes. Sharing is caring. I mean... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I share, share my mom with you. Come on. Oh, that. Come on. <laughs> low blow. Low blow. Spare one slice of jerky. Spare mother, please. Spare mother. <laughs> Spare mother. <laughs> Spare mom, please. <laughs> It was good though. Oh my god, after WeebCon, I, I told Clara about how, how much I love those chocolates. And I also gave some to my mom because my mom really likes uh, macadamia nuts. And I told when after I told him that, when we met up at Anime Expo, he brought 
like extra boxes of chocolate hey, for me off, and to give to my mom. Back off! <laughs> Don't encroach upon my territory. He's like, here's a whole box for your mom because <laughs> she liked them. <laughs> That's so sweet. It was really sweet. <laughs> Everybody likes my mom. The uh. Every time I think of the chocolate macadamia nuts, I think of this one scene from Gintama that three oh, people I in the you were chat will know what I'm talking talk about. Talk about Animaniacs. Oh, yeah, that too. Fuck, man, macadamia <laughs> nut chocolates are popular, huh? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I actually wanted to talk about One Piece with you earlier, but I completely forgot what I was going <gasps> to talk about with you. One Piece? I did the live talk action? To yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not the live action. Fuck, what was it? Ooh, I forgot. Uh, I mentioned earlier about, like, watching, like, up to date every week. I wanted to, uh, oh, I wanted to ask you what your favorite One Piece character was. Ace. <laughs> was. A part of the crew. Was very fitting. <laughs> oh, part of the crew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. I think my favorite crew member would probably be, hmm, Brooke. If yeah! I'm not thinking with my horny brain. If I'm thinking with my horny brain, then Wait, it's what? Zoro. Oh, okay. I but if I'm, say, if I'm. I'm... horny with Brooke? He's a fucking Jones. <laughs> I get that I you're think... a wolf, but you like he's there. Come on, relax. <laughs> what sealed the deal? Um, I don't know. I don't know how far along you are with watching One Piece. I've I'm caught up. Okay, so uh, this is not really a spoiler because it, it happened yeah, forever don't spoil ago. Chat. But um, there there's one part where where like Brooke is on his own. Yeah. And. He, he just kind of like magically pops out of nowhere and he just so happens to show up in the middle of this like satanic summoning circle and <laughs> these people trying to summon Satan think that Brooke is Satan and yeah. they're like, oh, Satan Sama. <laughs> it's so fucking funny and they're like worshiping him and he turns to like the, the ladies and he's like, uh, can I see your pennies? <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> Do you like that joke? It was so Especially in that fucking context like because you know more. they wouldn't have said no. They would not have said That's no true. to that request. <laughs> would, you know what? If I had panties, I'd show them to Satan. Why not? True. I also am a big fan of puns and I really the enjoy all jokes. of his puns. Yeah, skull joke. <laughs> skull, skull joke. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I fuck it. My favorites are Brooke, Frankie, and Robin. Hell yeah. Those are my number Good ones. Good taste. I love them. I love them. Mm -hmm. They're so <laughs> fun. I, li I like the idea. I know that none of the uh, the crew members will ever like be into each other that way, but I really like uh, Robin and Frankie a lot. They're so cute. They like, are actually. really cute together. <laughs> They'll never be together because all of the crew in One Piece are not dating each other. That's not how that works. And, uh, and it just would be weird if they started dating, but I like the idea of them together. They are only Nakama. Yeah, they're friends! Mm-hmm! Can't believe it, I'm just like the Twitch chatters that ship people together. Right? I, I ship Ace one. with myself. God. Do I wanna, do, do I, have I ever wanted to date an anime character? Like, now? When I was a kid, obviously, but... Mm. Ooh. It's kind of cringe, the bro. Mon, mon was that I read, probably. <laughs> strong, That's one brand. Well, okay, they're strong, they're rich, and they, they're really cool and caring. Aww. I think That's they're sweet. really nice. Oh, Urza Scarlet. Okay, yeah, I mean, fine. That's fair. Ooh. The one character in Fairy Tale that, like, should have been the main character. Mm-hmm. Did you like Fairy Tale? I cosplayed Urza. <laughs> The best character! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Honestly, half of the time re watching Fairy Tale, uh, like, I kept watching specifically for Urza because I thought she was the most interesting character. I I stopped watching it. They had, like, a, a like a pretty long break between seasons, mm -hmm. and then I never caught up and to, like, the... And all the seasons aren't numbered, so it's just, like, random names, and then it's, like, Fairy yeah. Tale. New Fairy Tale. And it's, like, it's not new. It's, it's a sequel. So why the fuck is it called new? Right. <laughs> I literally remember where I left scenes, off. Where they named Nintendo uh, DS's just like the new 3DS Super Ultra New. <laughs> yeah, wait. DSi? Oh, God. What? Huh? <laughs> fucking so annoying, dude. <laughs> Thank you for the subs, Wolf, and you saw me, big love guy. 
Thank you for supporting Joel. Uh, actually, might be cosplaying again soon. Uh, I got an email. <gasps> Yourself? Well, uh, yes, I'm getting cosplay of myself, but that's like the <gasps> the five six cosplay, so it'd be, it would not fit me. Uh, maybe Aww. I'll turn into a crop top. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I I got an email from somebody who does cosplay when I hung out with Basil. Apparently, they were watching the stream, and they emailed <gasps> me saying, "Hey, I heard that you wanted a either clone armor, Spartan armor, or uh, some kind of cool armor cosplay." Yo! And I was like, "If I can get porcelain made colored clone trooper or Spartan armor from Halo, that would be so cool." I would fucking love that and i would totally wear that at conventions i think that would be dope i would walk around i would like i, I would not that way i could show my face without having other people see me and just wear the fucking uh, spartan armor well you wouldn't be showing your face okay i mean that's what i mean <laughs> but everybody would know cool. it's you yeah i think that'd be really cool yeah i would love that i would love to have spartan armor I've, as, ever since i was a kid i've always wanted to like have master chief armor because that's so fucking rad it's so badass it really is dude and you know that you're gonna feel powerful as fuck and i would cosplay myself i think i think it'd be fun <laughs> <laughs> have you ever cute. wanted to dress before no never in my life you're gonna enjoy the breeze oh my god i don't think i will <laughs> <laughs> no, you probably won't have one if you have like a petticoat. Uh, you know who I want to cosplay again? I want to cosplay another JoJo character. Because while I Ooh. don't like JoJo, I think the best cosplay I can pull off is JoJo cosplay because of the the body type I have is more JoJo built. You hear that chat? <laughs> I'm not like I'm not like super strong or anything. I just have JoJo proportions. You're JoJo. Joel Joel. <laughs> Joel Joel Star. Because I've only ever cosplayed once and it was uh, Jotaro. And it worked really well. Is that your favorite JoJo? No, Joseph is. Joseph! Joseph I never watched it, but I fucking love Joseph. He's yes. so funny, dude. <laughs> yes. He's the same voice actor for uh, Gintama too, which is my favorite. I fucking love Joseph. Fucking Gintama, oh my god. It's a good, it's one of my favorite anime, alright? <laughs> Oh my god! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> I like young Joseph. Uh, he's so my favorite. funny. But yeah, uh, I love that shit, man. I gotta mm -hmm. say my favorite anime is definitely Gintama, though. That's why I keep bringing it up. It's one of them, and Gurren Logan's still number one. As you saw from my anime tier list yesterday, chat. Gintama's the one with, like, the penis truck, right? The Neo Neon uh, Cyclone Armstrong Cyclone Cannon 3000. It's like a is that what it's it like is? a cannon. It's a cannon. It's not a truck. It's oh. a recurring joke in the show. <laughs> I found I remember a bunch of like dicks joke. sticking out the side of a like a box truck. Oh shit! That is an episode. Uh, it's oh. so funny, <laughs> dude. This show is so good that I know exactly what you're talking about. It's when. <laughs> This old lady's husband died, and somebody was what? stealing the corpse of the husband, and then the husband's <laughs> dick, like, was hard from, like, death. <laughs> like rigor, rigor mortis? mortis. <laughs> and it stuck outside of the truck, and there was a bunch of other dead bodies in the truck. <laughs> and the, the old lady had to figure out which one was her husband by feeding I'm up the cocks stop, of no. the dead guy to figure out, like, oh, this no. is my husband's dick. <laughs> That's the one! Get him out of there! Why does that remind me of that one milk manor <laughs> challenge? <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so- No, god, no. <laughs> milk manor is so <laughs> fucked up, bro. <laughs> Chat, watch Gintama. It's really good. Highly recommend. I've seen the memes. I haven't actually watched it. It just oh looks like god. a like a wild-ass fever dream. It's so good, dude. I fucking- I adore it. I adore it. My favorite anime is Black Rock Shooter, the original one. I haven't seen the new one yet, I've never but it's seen eight it. episodes, and it's about cute girls with big weapons. Black Rock Shooter. It sounds like a news article is gonna come up. Oh, it's the Hatsune Miku <laughs> anime. It's not Hatsune Miku. Tell me she doesn't look like Hatsune Miku. 
yes, but here's the thing. People people get her confused because Hatsune Miku actually sings the intro, like the opening, to Black Rock Shooter. Okay. So so they get them confused sometimes. That's fair. But uh, Black Rock Shooter is actually uh, an art piece, like a series of drawings, by an artist. Uh, and they ended up turning that art into an anime. That reminds me of um, Kagero days. This is like old school, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if anyone knows this, but there's something called Kagro Days. Offline training yeah. has started. It was a multimedia project where they had manga, they had anime, they had music videos, and then they had books all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Or Mechaka City Actors. That was also another name for it. Oh my god, yeah. It's fucking old though, dude. I remember watching it when I was like 15, I think. <laughs> Super old. I was I was kind of into it. I kind of I had a good time with it. I don't know. That was the time when like tragedy and edgy stuff was really fun to me, and it was like really cool. Yo, yeah. I remember really enjoying Wolf's Rain. I don't know if you you've heard that one. I I have not. Oh my god. So instead of right, hold on, I gotta shut the fuck. I gotta make chat shut the fuck up. Yes, Cinder has an offline chat. I know I started it. I'm happy about it. Wait, what? We know, chat. There's a level six hype train they've been, in they've my been fucking offline chat. It. My poor mods have been trying to tell people to shut the fuck up for a while now, and they keep what? talking about it. Are you guys happy now? <laughs> I thought you knew about it. That's why I was trying to get them to shut up. No, I wasn't even paying attention. I was so caught up in our conversation. Oh, oh, um, yeah, we started an offline hype train in your chat. Chat. Thank you. What the? I'm gonna have a fun you guys are talking your to. Hat all flat now. My Look hat. Head. My head. I'm tired. <laughs> you st did I show you my Pokemon sleep score? I don't think I did. No. It's bad. It's not. I good. I don't really know what the numbers mean because I don't. I'm not familiar with it. It's not good. As you were saying, <laughs> you gonna share? <laughs> Wolf's Rain. Oh yeah. So so normally it's like, like people that that have the power to like turn into wolves, but actually they're wolves that can turn into people. So so it kind of <laughs> spins spins that concept on its head a little bit, and it's it's really really fucking tragic, and they're trying to like protect. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just like, ugh, just thinking about it. I all the characters are so cute and 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 they have like really cute names like like uh like Hige and Tomoe. That sounds like the one uh anime movie. Was it Ghibli? The uh, the uh, Wolf's Children? Yeah. It sounds like that. No, it's a lot darker. Oh great. Yeah. So everyone dies. <laughs> uh no. Oh, great! So everyone dies! No! <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I think the saddest anime I ever watched was, um... Either Angel Beats or this one show that I watched as a kid called, uh... Something Memory. Something Something Memory. Ah, fuck, what was it? Oh Have my god. Have you seen Anohana? No, I avoided it. That was after <laughs> I had enough of my fill of tragedy, and I was like, I don't want to cry to anime anymore. Literally, uh, one of my one of my old friends plastic and memories. I. Plastic? Me that sounds familiar. Maybe I don't think I've watched it, but I've definitely heard of it. Some. <laughs> it was um. There's... It was about an AI uh, robot that they go around hunting other robots that, because after a while, AI robots kind of go crazy. Mm. And uh, will forget everyone, lose their sense of self, and like uh, kill people or something. So a bunch of other robots will go, and humans work together to clean them up and take them for turn off time to be reset. So you people that are living with these turn robots, off time. yeah, they take the, they reset them <laughs> so people can living with the robots can either scrap them or they'll reset them so they but they don't remember them because their memories only last for a certain amount of time. 
Uh, and th it's about this person who watches all these other people. They're taking these robots away from their families that care about them and resetting their memories for people. So, like, there's, if, for example, there's this old lady that lives with her caretaker, that, and the caretaker is basically a replacement for her dead child. And, uh, and the old lady was like, it's enough. Thank you for being with me. And then the, the, the robot was like, I love you. And then the old lady, the robot chose to be scrapped rather than reset to take care of the old lady because the old lady was just like i think it's good enough and that's like that's one of the stories basically and this robot in the squad falls in love with the human in the squad and they start to love each other but the robot in the squad is also reaching their time limit for their memories and then they have to be reset soon and there's also like stories about robots that don't want to get reset they want to keep their memories they don't want to like basically die uh and they like try to run away it's like stuff like that it's really sad. Damn. It's good, though. I thought Anohana was a <laughs> was a depressing uh, adventure. I, I still don't know what Anohana is about, but I don't want to watch it because I don't want to get sad. It's it's about um this group of friends and one of the girls in their friend group is like dead, and only one of them can see her. Dude, that's and... fucked up. You come back <laughs> to life to fuck with one of your homies. <laughs> oh my god, dude. If I die, I'm just gonna haunt Cinder and nobody else. Cinder's just is like, Joel, shut the fuck up. And everyone's like, Cinder? It's, it's like a story years. about like memories and acceptance and it's oh my god oh it's so tragic but i remember uh, i hadn't watched it before and one of my friends was like it's so good like do you do you feel like like crying together and i was like hell yeah dude so we got on the discord call and he and i just like fucking sat there sobbing through like the 12 episodes <laughs> dude i uh i have a hot take where i think angel beats is actually sadder than clan ed like i cried to angel beats but not clan ed I haven't seen Clan Ed. Do you have you seen Angel Beats? No. Ooh. I know more about Angel Beats than Clan Ed though. So the thing with Angel Beats is instead of people dying, they're all already like in purgatory. Right. And they don't know what they're doing there. But eventually one person figures out that they're there because they haven't like accepted that they're ready to move on in life or they haven't accepted anything else because they're all dead. So all their trauma mm -hmm won't really get resolved unless they resolve it themselves so one person's going around trying to help people resolve their trauma but each time somebody's trauma gets resolved they disappear so the people that are living there like they get reincarnated so all the people yeah. that are there slowly Good. start disappearing and everyone starts to get lonely and the main character falls in love with another person who has trauma and then because they fell in love with the per the person they fell in love with had trauma of not being in love or something like that so because the person, the main character fell in love with them, that person disappears. So the mm -hmm. main character is alone. And there's two endings. One ending is he stays there and he takes care of all the other people that are in purgatory by trying to help them Aww. move on and get reincarnated. And the other ending is he gets reincarnated to go and find the person that he was in love with. But Those are both really cute though. But the was, feels, yeah. There was a scene in it that broke me where somebody was having a very lovely conversation with some, one of their friends and in the middle of their conversation this person's just like yeah i really appreciate you and i'm just so happy that you're here with me and then he turns to look at the other person and they're just gone like they disappeared because they were content with their life and they moved on and i was no! just like oh, i'm gonna cry My heart. i'm gonna cry <laughs> That shit killed me, man. After that, I was just like, I'm not watching any more sad anime. I'm not gonna die. Right? Have, <laughs> Give it more Gintama. <laughs> I'm going back to the comedy shit, bro. <laughs> oh my god, that shit fucked me. Hell no. Why? Why are they gonna play with us like that? It was nice, man. It was really nice. I, I, you nice. Know, I mean, Sometimes I you need a good cry, though. It's nice to feel those kinds of emotions from an anime and not from your own life. You know what I mean? Oh, like yeah. feeling, <laughs> feeling sadness from an anime rather than feeling sad from something that's happened to you is yeah. a different kind of emotion itself. Right. The big part of Gurren Lagann fucked my heart up. Yeah, it's fair, man. It fucked up a lot of people. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was a rough Oh, one. yeah. You never told us your Pokemon sleep. 
there's no actual score i just like don't sleep well there's no score that's how off that's how bad your sleep is it doesn't even score it, it well there's a thing that you snorlax gets and the snorlax level ups or something called a sleep score but that one's not it i just have been like pokemon sleep has just been consistently being like you slept 30 mi minutes less than usual you slept 40 less minutes than usual and it keeps going down. <laughs> you just keep sleeping less and less. Yeah, I've been getting scores of like so. Okay, there is a score. I've been getting scores of like. They give you a, a rating out of 100 each day that you sleep. Based oh. on how much you sleep. And I keep getting 60s and then 40s. It doesn't like me. Yeah, that's not a passing grade. I'm not passing the health class. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wait. Oh. <gasps> Have you seen Grave of the Fireflies? I've been avoiding it because I know everything. I, I know what it's about. I don't oh want to watch God. it. I don't want to watch it. One of it. my history teachers gave me like a DVD of it. And mm -hmm. and she was like, you like anime? I think you'll like this. And I was like, why? I why? Like <laughs> why would oh you make God. me watch this? <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. I did see a silent voice. Oh, that's a good one. That one, that one wasn't like that one had a happy ending. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. It's like a good, a good story. Fuck, man, depressing stuff is sometimes mm -hmm. fun to like wallow in. <laughs> that sounds so edgy. It's, right, it's my fun favorite. To wallow in tragedy occasionally. Ha, have you seen? I want to hear pancreas. I haven't. I hear so <gasps> much about that's it one of my all-time favorite movies. It's so good. I should watch it at some point. I don't know. I don't watch stuff. I don't watch anime anymore. Like I, I spent the last two days and I caught. A, I read everything about Black Clover and I kind of like that now. Hmm. It took like two hundred yeah, chapters to get good, but still. <laughs> Sounds like One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually like <laughs> the older arcs more than the newer arcs. Is that bad? Well, well, no. I Sky feel like Skypea number one, baby. Skypea number one. I meant more of like the the whole oh recruiting each member and then they have like their own little like story and it, it like really picks up at Arlong Park. I'd say it's, it's like if you that's can get fair. to Arlong Park, that's then fair. thing that's where things like really pick up and it that sets the tone. Yeah. That's why the I world building. just like tell people to read manga because it's just you read and catch up to things way faster. Yeah, no filler. I like some of the filler. There was <laughs> there was a, there was a One Piece filler episode where one of my favorite gags that ever happened uh, exists in, and Wait, the what? gag was uh, Robin and Luffy. Everyone's just having a slow day on the ship. They got nothing to do, and it's like showing you their daily life without fighting or doing their arcs. And mm -hmm. it's just Robin reading a book, and Luffy is super bored. And then Luffy just looks over at Robin and is like, Hey, Robin, what are you reading? And then everyone on the ship is like, Huh? 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 Luffy's interested in a book? <laughs> yeah, and that is, that is my favorite gag. And Robin just like, like the mother, really sweet human being she is, is like, I'm reading a book about this. And Luffy's like, oh, that sounds really interesting. You got to lend that to me sometime. And then, <laughs> boom, they land on an island, and then Luffy never reads a book. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was one of my favorite, uh, that was my favorite fillers. That scene My favorite was right after Skypea. Oh, where they landed, and they, like, landed in the in the water? Yeah, I think it was, like, G6. <laughs> oh, fuck, I got to remember that and, one. And there was, like, the really chill Admiral guy. I think his name was just like Jonathan, like, <laughs> like it was. <laughs> oh, the Marine Fortress. The most generic they, name. They yeah. The Marine Fortress. Yeah, yeah. It was it was the Marine base that was like I did surrounded like that. by walls. I that was fun. Yeah, and then the 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 admiral was like super fucking chill about yeah. everything. I um. <laughs> who's just said Skypea is trash? How dare you? Skypea oh, had the best jokes, bro. Skypea had some of the best jokes in the entire series. I don't know. My favorite thing is just seeing the characters interact with each other and actually, like, everyone having their own job. Nowadays, all you see from One Piece is Sanji, Zoro, and Luffy, and nobody else gets any screen time. Those are the big three. Yeah, but I'm not... None of them are my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> like none of the other crew members ha like if you're gonna keep adding crew members why don't you give them the same screen time i don't know man it bothers True. me i don't like that they like uh, okay this isn't spoilers chat this isn't spoilers 
but Usopp, his whole character thing is he's a coward. He grows to maybe not be a coward, and then he reverts back because Oda was just like, ah, whatever, it's funny. He's like the, the comedy it, relief. But he does that with all the other background characters that aren't Sanji, Zoro, and Luffy. So all the other characters don't do shit. Brooke doesn't do shit. <laughs> Brooke was built up to be actually good at fighting. And now we he is. Him into, like in one of the in one of the fucking episode in a lot of the episodes Brooke doesn't want to fight because he's scared like the uh, like Nami and Usopp Brooke is not that character you didn't set him up to be that character <laughs> He's fuck? just a silly little guy I don't know I get mad it makes me mad He's sometimes. funny when he screams I don't know man I just I want <laughs> them to do more with the with the, all the crew members I want them to like be shown in fights and be intuitive like when was the last time you saw any of the other crew members have their own fight scenes well technically uh in Wano good fight scenes Onigashima they all had their own battles I said good fight scenes well well they, they, they have, have their like own two panel time battles, to shine Cinder. <laughs> they have two panel battles what do you mean they have their own time to shine? <laughs> the other three got all their arcs! Well, yeah, but I mean... Surely, surely, like, you know, Usopp's big arc is coming up soon. Like, we just had Sanji's. And Zoro's. Kind of. And... And... Obviously, Luffy. I'm not Luffy. saying it's bad, I just want them to be incorporated more, because I like them a lot. But Usopp is God. Or what about Brooke, Frankie, and Robin? No, 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 but Usopp is God. <laughs> I'm so, just fucking hell. <laughs> Usopp ah! had his moment. <laughs> Last time Usopp had a moment with us fucking with Perona. No. Okay, what else was there? The, the, the Whole cake. That God Usopp! He did one he did one shot. That, that was really God Usopp! God that Usopp! Really, that was just a comedy moment. That wasn't an actual <laughs> fight moment. <laughs> it was an actual fight moment! No, no, he shot yeah. one bullet and then he was done. He won the battle. He won the battle. He shot one and bullet, he became which was God. Admittedly cool, but there wasn't much else. <laughs> I don't know. Here's the thing, right? I just don't feel like they use the use the versatility of all their um Close your ears, chat. Three, two, one. So they have versatility. Like, they have all upgraded stuff after a certain mm -hmm. arc that happened. But I don't feel like they use their upgraded stuff that much. You know what I don't like about the upgrades? What? Is that they totally forgot about a really important tool, especially, uh, like, ones that were so important in, like, the earlier arcs. I don't know if you remember how they used the to use the dials? fucking dials. Yeah, the dials. I don't know. You're yes. About. Well, where's he going to get more of them? He can reuse the same ones. Like the impact dials. I don't know. If, oh, yeah, I guess he could. Yeah, Those the impact break, dials. Do they? No, no. Yeah, why They're meant to not break. What break. The fuck? And then he's eventually going to run out of those plant things. Like, where does he fucking grow them? In the In the ship, I assume. But I feel like he's smart place... enough to take seeds, Cinder. Come on. I don't know! He's definitely <laughs> smart enough to bring seeds with him for the things that he's using. <laughs> he's not that he's not stupid. <laughs> Come on. Well maybe. Is Skype a cannon? It is, right? Yeah. I don't know why people keep calling it filler. It, why do people not it like it? It feels like filler. It's really I, I think good. it's just I think it's just um like a slow burn. But it's like a it's a legitimately good arc. I don't get it. Like it's got comedy. Is it because they're not fucking doing stupid fights all the time? The best part of One Piece isn't the fucking fights. It's the characters. I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. It sounds like the people that don't like Skypea are the people that are like the Dragon Ball fans that are like, yo, bro. <laughs> I'm about to see this motherfucker fight! He can't be Goku though! Like, that's the same kind of mindset that I feel like people that don't like Skypea have. 
I I will always be like super super hyped about when I realized that Luffy was rubber and that Enel had lightning powers, <laughs> and I was like, he's gonna be untouchable. Like Luffy's Whoa. gonna fuck this guy up. <laughs> I hope he comes back. I like that character a lot. Oh my god, he he was the start of the the meme face, the the funny scream. Yeah. I have that gift. <laughs> I have that gift saved my Discord so I can use I love those. <laughs> oh my god, are you in the One Piece Discord server? No, they have a Discord, like an official one? Yeah, there's so many good fucking emotes. Let fuck? me send it to you. Let me invite you. Who, what, it's who so is good. Regulating a, an official One Piece server. Hold on. Let me send it to you. Uh huh. I uh, yes, I love the sentient doll and hellhound that has committed tax evasion and is wanted in 13 states for murder. Huh? What did you do, Cinder? I didn't... <laughs> I'm the one who did tax evasion. What the fuck did you do for murder? I didn't murder. I mean, unless you're talking about potential accidental arson. Do I count potential. as murder since I'm dead? No, that that would be, um... <laughs> homicide? Oh, ooh. Self-aside. Self-aside. That's fucked but up. But you didn't do it to yourself. Yeah, it's true. You were Can like I collect Isakai. life insurance on myself? <laughs> Can I collect life insurance on graduated VTubers? What? If my That's friends gotta be graduate, do I collect life insurance on that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Everyone treats them like they're dead after they graduate. Can I get life insurance? Then why on would that? why would you get it? I don't know. You're not maybe graduated. They, maybe they put me in the life insurance, okay? <laughs> Why'd they name the server r slash one piece? It's Discord, okay? We're not on Reddit. What the fuck? Just look at the emotes. The emotes are really, really good. Ugh. All right. They're so funny. <laughs> There's one of live action buggy. <laughs> it's so good. What cursed. the fuck? Let's customize your experience. Huh? It's making me do a fucking test to answer questions. Holy shit, this is a thing. I didn't know. There was I'm only a checking the emotes. So I'm gonna leave. What? What the fuck is this? It's giving me a TOS. Listen you have to do a test. You have to test your One Piece what knowledge to emotes? be allowed entry right, in the One emotes? Piece Discord. R slash One Piece. Oh God, it's just all eight. Oh my God. Look at them. What? Why are so many of them just redrawn Pepe's? <laughs> it's so funny. Jesus Christ. <laughs> My favorite is the Magellan pooping with him on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's it. It's the Discord for the subreddit. They do that all the time. So oh. it's not the official One Piece. It's the official <laughs> subreddit Discord. It's just the one that has a, a lot of funny... Look, there's wide Jinbei and there's three emotes that, that connect together. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's just Jimbei, but wide. <laughs> <laughs> I love it here. Do you? One of my favorite emotes that is just emotes is uh, this little creature called Bugcat. Bugcat. Wait, that sounds cute. It's the little blue thing. You've probably seen it. You. I guarantee you've seen him. Hold on. Let me see. Bugcat. Yeah, you've definitely seen it. This little guy. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, he's so cute. His name is Bug Cat. Is that like Catbug? Uh, no, that's different. <laughs> but Catbug no. is a different thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look at it. It's really cute. Oh my god, I love him. Chat, go on Discord and look up Bug Cat. I guarantee you'll find one. <laughs> you'll find an emote for it. <laughs> yeah, it's a blue one. He's the blue little cat that or bug that's also a cat. Oh, he's so cute. Look, look up uh, Cat or Bug Cat, not Catbug. Different thing. Catbug is from Bravest Warriors. Bugcat is an emote. Oh. It's a genre of emotes that I don't know where it came from. I it's just him. like... He's so cute. Just like generic emote culture, He's like Pepe's. <laughs> it's just like... It's the kind of thing that whenever you look at it, it instantly gives you like so much serotonin. Me when I look at Cinder. You sent me three of them? Joel just sent me like four. <laughs> They're cute. He's like spamming our chat. They're cute. Look at him. Look I sent I sent Joel, you know, you know the the no, no emote with like with Usopp. like the the hands. <laughs> this one of nose. Usopp and this nose is just sticking straight God, up. Dude. Yeah, that one, but it's Usopp. 
in his, his yeah, nose say, sticking up. I'm kind of <laughs> glad that the live action Usopp, they didn't just plaster on a fake fucking nose. I don't think Oda would have would have wanted that. I think it would have. I'm, I'm kind of happy uh, that they just like found an actor that had like a maybe a large nose. Uh, <laughs> Why? There's nothing wrong with large noses. They're no, they're I don't handsome. think I don't think that's the feature that they would focus primarily on when casting sure Usopp. Usopp. <laughs> yeah. You know, as a kid, oh I my didn't God. like large noses, and now I think like, <laughs> I, you're, like a, a European <laughs> nose is like like a like a very strong nose is really cool. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. I just as a to say kid, that. I didn't like that. <laughs> Now, like, I saw people, I see characters, like, in a lot of medieval uh, stories that I read, or, like, like Lady Maria from Bloodborne, they have, like, a strong kind of, like, European nose, and it's like, wow, that's really, she looks really fucking cool. They look, yeah. It's, like, no, like they, they look, look really. They look like warriors. Yeah, yeah, like, strong, badass. We love strong, badass it's characters. Cool. Mm-hmm. Anyways, did you really actually sad. watch, did you see any of the... Like interviews for the cast for I, the. I looked at a few of them. I like. <laughs> I I think they're cute, but I it just was like something I was just like watching, and I was like, uh, okay. I mean, it's okay. Aww. They seem I really think they're cute. All they seem really... like they know what they're talking about. But it also feels. They like make kinda... me happy. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm, I, they, I like them all. I think they're great. You hate them. <laughs> no, no, I like them. There's just something about those interviews that made me feel like they weren't fully comfortable with them each other yet. Oh, I see what you mean by that. Yeah. So it made I, me a I, I meant uncomfortable like, to watch. I was watching the the like interview clip of them reacting to seeing the like edited trailer for the first time, and. Luffy's actor starts like getting emotional and like crying and it's the cutest fucking thing ever It is very And then sweet. I started crying I think they're crying because it's a very good role for them to be in I don't know if it's because it's like all oh, one piece I think it's because like they're like wow I'm a part well, of this that's cool Yeah it's really cool to see it like come to life That's really nice I'm still kind of petty because I actually the like the Cowboy the Bebop uh, the live action. Kaku, and it's very funny. I, I thought it... Is that the one that, like, didn't end up airing? No, it got cancelled. Oh. It's still on Netflix. I liked the Cowboy Bebop live action. So did it have a season? Yeah, it was one season. It was gonna oh. have another one, but it got cancelled. Oh, okay. I thought the whole thing got cancelled. No, no, no. I was watching and I was like, this is fun. Like, this is just fun. Like, I, okay, when I'm watching, what I, what I want out of live actions, right? I do not want a live action to try to be as good as the original. It never will be. A right. live action will never be as good as the original of whatever it's a live action of. So, live action One Piece will never be as good as original One Piece. Uh, live action Cowboy Bebop will never be as good as original Cowboy Bebop. But, the reason why I liked live action Cowboy Bebop was it was fun. It was right. fun. And all the characters looked proper. I liked that a lot. It was a fun little thing to watch, and it let me experience Cowboy Bebop, even if it wasn't exactly the same, again, without having to watch the actual thing, because I could watch it in a new way. And that's why I liked it. And I think it's supposed to kind of be able to stand on its own, because when you do live action, it's, <gasps> it gets to a wider audience, like a more mainstream Ooh. audience. So they might also try to appeal to them in that way. Hello, cute little mermaid. Hi, Irie. Thanks for coming by. Hello! That's a mermaid. I'm just YouTuber. gushing about One Piece. Yeah. You know what they say about opposites? What? Nothing. What do they say? <laughs> that they're opposite? Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Joel's dense. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. They say opposites attract, Joel. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It magnets, North Pole, South Pole, polarities. I just Science. start drooling. <laughs> I just start drooling. <laughs> <laughs> no, Joel's oh, got negative riz. I actually how how is my mom always this? here? I. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. You should ask your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Well, what do you want? I, I was going to ask you. So I did the Hot Ones Challenge on Wednesday this week. That Ooh. was really fun. So I got through. I'm I did, sorry. No, I, it was really easy. <gasps> <laughs> I check in to test this. I fucking tanked the hot ones challenge. Now my stomach had the devil spit roast later when my mouth was hot and then the other <laughs> hole was hot too. But like for the most part, I fucking absolutely destroyed the hot I ones challenge. Can't. Like the only one that hurt me was the da bomb, and that was the only one out of all of them. Oh sorry, it was da bomb. It was number six and number eight. Number nine and ten were bitches. Uh, and like I, I absolutely destroyed it, dude. It was insane. I was drinking from the bottles. Like I was what? taking swigs of the hot sauce. Huh? I would take the hot sauces up to uh, up to number eight. I was taking well, swigs of the hot sauce from the bottle. Well, you're not real. You don't have normal taste buds. I'm not real. No. I'm. I'm not real. <laughs> you're an anime girl, Joel. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not real? Oh God, <laughs> Cinder! Cinder, what's happening to me? Cinder! Oh, feel so good! <laughs> no! Goodbye. Oh my god! It was dark in there! Hello. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Look, I can censor your stream! Hi! Hi, chat! Hi. <laughs> no! Hi. Um, Hi. Um, um. Stop eating! <laughs> it's fucked up! Why are you eating my hair? <laughs> Do you mind? It's in my nature. It's just how I show affection. Oh. How do I show affection? I like, <laughs> I like kick my child. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like, I shake say, the cage and I kick him. You say, I love you, Cindy. <laughs> I do. I do, dude. I literally go up to you and I'm like, I love you. I love you. You're so cute. I love you so much. <laughs> Joel walks up to people and he's literally like the so cute, like the so cute <laughs> emote. That's what Joel is like. I, I absolutely I absolutely adore everyone. Like I whenever I whenever I see my friends, I do want to just go like yeah, I love you so much. You make me so happy. And I'm so proud of you, you for going to see all the friends. I'm so happy. I want to go see my friends again. And this time, instead of not giving the like the proper hugs, uh, I want to give them a big old squeeze. What do you mean proper hugs? <laughs> Well, how I normally hug people is I give them a big squeeze, but since it was my first time, like, actually getting to see everyone, I wanted to give Aww. them a respectful... I would let them hug me, and then I would hug back, but I want to actually squeeze them. I want to be like... Ugh. Oh my god, I fucking I cling on to everybody. <laughs> like, I'm like, don't let go of me. Mm. I miss you. <laughs> yeah, I want to do that. I want to... I'm going to fucking... Uh, I'm going to, like, snap everyone's back from really rough hugs, basically. Hell yeah. Yeah, knock them over. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm taught you well. I'm going to do the will. drunken hug where I almost <laughs> knock them over. Yeah. Match my size. What are you doing? Why are you small? Get I'm bigger. small? Yeah, get bigger. bigger. Okay, let me just subs subscribe to you really quick. Oh, shit. Thank you, Cinder, for the job. <laughs> Enjoy the three extra inches to your height. Stop that. <laughs> you know what I've been doing lately? I've been doing the Camilla thing and the Numi thing where they go like, like Numi always does that. And then Camilla goes like, it talks like a little fucking freak. Like, a, like the baby talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've yeah. been copying the mannerisms while everyone else is copying me saying big love all the time. You know, it's it's fun to say. Big love? Yeah, big love. Because I, I don't want to say I love you. And Why? I, it, I don't know. It sounds like it sounds way more uh, deep. But when I say big love, it gets the point across. That's why I like uh, like Japanese because there's three different ways to say I love you, and they have different meanings depending on like who you're talking to and like the context. 
Yeah, but it's uh, I saw. Oh, dude, that reminds me. I saw a video. I saw three different videos. Uh, one was Korean, one was China, and one was in Japan. Where it was this channel, they would go up to people and say, "Have you said I love you to your children or your parents?" And Aww. they would have people in the streets call their parents or their kids and say, "Um, I know I don't say this much, but I I love you." That's and so cute. Half the reactions were like, "Oh, what's this about? I love you too." Or it'd be like, "Are you okay? <laughs> Are you good?" Because <laughs> they don't. In a lot of those cultures, they don't say "I love you" as much. So hmm. a lot of the parents will have never said "I love you" to their kids. So they'll like it, like stopping them in the street, and they're like, "Well," and they obviously know that they love each other, but they just don't verbally say it. So they'll be they like, show affection in different said, ways. Do you say I love you to your family members? And they're like, uh, not really, but they, I, they, I get the point across through actions. Right. Like, I'm awful with my words and explaining my feelings. Yeah. But I'll give big hugs and I'll, I'll, I'll try to complain and get me <laughs> to buy your dinner. And and I'll give you gifts and, and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, just like keeping up to date with people is my way of like showing affection most of the time. Going into mm. chats, being like, hey, I hope you're doing okay. Miss you. I love blah, seeing blah. you in my chat. <laughs> yeah, I, like watching your cha I like watching your streams. Aww. You got me to do hand cams, too. You're so sweet. <laughs> I, I hope you've been having fun with those. They've been fun. I've been enjoying myself. I, uh, I lost my mind doing Gundam again because I did a fucking really annoying Gunpla set. <laughs> <laughs> That's your first mistake. It's also so hard to do while wearing the gloves because I was ruining the gloves because of how sharp everything is. Just do Legos. I should. I should get a Lego set and do that on stream. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Or like the, the knockoff Legos. Mega blocks? <laughs> um, I don't know what they're called. I mean, I can do simpler like anime girl model kits and then I can do like... I can do Legos... I could even do, uh, like, no, that's about it. What else would there be? <laughs> well, the first one I guns. did was, was a Piplup. I, I did a Pokemon. What are they called? I don't remember Cards? what they, what, what kind of. Duplo. No. Um, Mega block. Nano blocks, I think. Nano blocks. I guess so. I think. I think that's what <laughs> they said. I, um. They really cute though. I want to do something like what you do. Where you have, like, I want to, so when I get a work computer, right, I'm going to get a bigger desk so I can be do better hand cam streams. And I yeah. want to get, like, a nice work board. And what I want to do is I want to try kit bashing stuff. Because I huh? love kit bashing. Oh, like combining the stuff. Yeah, combining stuff to make things. So if you guys haven't yeah. seen, one of my favorite channels on YouTube is called Studson Studio. And he, if you might have seen the video, he made Howl's Moving Castle about uh, out of <gasps> just a fuck ton of junk. Yeah, I remember you showing that to me. I want to do something like that because that seems really creative and fun. And I, I, I think that'd be a really fun thing to do. To make giant mod... Like, it'd be really hard to do, but I think it'd be really fucking fun to build shit out of just random garbage that you find. You could make, like, chat. I could. You could I, make chat in a cage. I actually... Ha I sli So I have a... <laughs> My mod, Anna, not only made me the porcelain gloves for hand cam streams, but they Those made are so good. a little chat plushie. And it's of their the little chat mascot of the little guy chat sit yeah. real quick. And some, t some nights, whenever I'm feeling down or if I'm feeling lonely, I will just sleep with my little chat plushie. You're so cute! One day I slept with him and I was hugging him too hard and his eye came off, so I had to glue his eye back on. No, no! I love it. I love the little chat doll. It's uh, it's so it's so cute. I can't believe you would you would beat up your <laughs> chat like that. I got sa I, I showed my mom it and my mom was like, "What is that ugly thing?" And I was like, "Mom, no, he oh! hurt, he'll hear you." <laughs> Don't say that to my chat. He's cute. I love it. Oh, no! I love him. Mom, please why? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the people that give me money. <laughs> uh, uh, there's the people that I spend more time with than my family. <laughs> Literally. Oh, boy. It's okay, Chad. You get revenge on her because I spend more time with you guys than, <laughs> than her. Right. So, so you come out on top in the end. Yeah, I guess so. I guess they do. The little bow really sells it. It's just so isn't fucking it, isn't cute. It really cute? It, yeah. <laughs> the, the lore, apparently, that we wrote up is that they're little slimes. That's why their sub-badges are slimes. That want to yeah. be like me. 
So they made a little chat Aww. doll and they all stuffed themselves into chat dolls to look more like me. That is so freaking cute. It's adorable. I, I adore them. They're so cute. So they really are like you. Yeah. You're hard on the outside, but, but you're actually a soft, squishy, nice person on the inside. Can you not talk about my internal organs like that? Sorry. <laughs> 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 um, excuse me, those are my organs that you're talking about? <laughs> squeeze, squeeze. Oh, God. <laughs> That's my fleshy interior. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> what are you made out of, bro? I thought, I thought there wasn't anything in there. <laughs> there isn't. Oh. Except in my inner thigh, I have a compartment that has Lay's barbecue potato chips. So you canonically don't have a brain? That's very mean. That's very mean of you to say. Don't heed no me. brain cells here. <laughs> <laughs> brain cell? What brain cell? I don't know what you're talking about. But I don't have tongue tracking. On my 3D model, I have tongue tracking. <laughs> on the low poly model chat. A low poly tongue? I can show you it after the stream. Hell yeah. <laughs> I get all the cool sneak peeks. Sorry, oh, I can chat. show it to you right now, actually. I have a I have a video that I can send to you. Oh yeah, you can get my live sender reaction. Ooh, let's see. What did I download it? <laughs> Upload! There you go. Oh wait. <gasps> my mom messaged me like five minutes ago. She says, Tell Joel I said bye. Great stream. <laughs> Bye, Singer's mom. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Always love you. Always love having you here. <gasps> Wait, this is such a cool model. Isn't it, isn't it really cool? <gasps> Whoa! Isn't it what? Really sick? So this person <gasps> did Ross's models and also did uh, Lena's model and one of Bao's low poly models. I fucking love this. And it's going to be compatible with VR chat too, so I can't wait to use it. But I do need to buy new hand tracking for 3D because I don't have any 3D hand tracking. Hmm. So I might buy a leap motion again, unfortunately. Oh, you don't like those? They burn a hole in your chest, bro. I had a leap motion oh, five really? years ago back when I had my 3D model. And every time I used it for my hand tracking, it would burn a hole in my chest. Like it would overheat so quickly. Yikes. Maybe they upgraded it. Maybe they have a new version of Leap Motion that's um, better now. There isn't an alternative? Uh, Mokopi. I heard those are good. We'll see how it is. I did get the Obscure... St I, get, I did get mocap stuff from Obscure. Uh, but my model that I'm talking about doesn't work in that. And Obscure right now... Uh, it's its own OBS, so I can't just use it for streaming mm, like gotcha. if i use it i have to i would have to stream it's like how elgato wants you to use the elgato program to stream it's like that chat does it yes wait what what elgato do you have well i mean it works for me now but like a, a, elgato prefers people to stream on their like they have an elgato stream thing like game capture huh do you not know about game capture I mean, I have a game. I use game capture okay, through OBS. Okay, explain this to you. What? I'm like, I've got an Elgato Stream it's Deck. Like they have I got the Wave own XLR. OBS, but without all the options of OBS, because they want you to do a very niche specific stream with it. Oh. I. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> I feel like I'm not getting through to you, but it's close enough. Wait, are you saying stuff you shouldn't be saying? No, it's fine to say. Oh. Like that, it's part of the program. Everyone can use it now. It's out. Okay. <laughs> Were you worried okay. I broke NDA? Are you, bro <laughs> are you worried that I would have broken an NDA? No, no. You're, you're just making it sound really sus. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, my uh, manager, Seth, gets really mad at me every time I promote MSM. <laughs> Why? He's like, stop! Stop promoting us to people! We did get on a call earlier, and he was like, "Yeah, I like to, I like to stay like behind the scenes and and not talk about the <laughs> the, the the management company." I only <laughs> talk about it when we're like hanging out at a convention, right? 
motherfucker. He, he's, he's such a chill guy. Seth? Yeah, no, he's super yeah. stressed. I wouldn't call him chill. He's losing his mind every day. No! <laughs> he's going to lose his mind soon. I, I will predict the future. There's going we were to just be the chatting for a bit a while ago. <laughs> oh, you were chatting with Seth. It was funny because um, I, don't, I don't remember... Uh, I don't remember who who said it, but um, I guess Seth said that he really likes red, and and he Red does. was like, he told me that red a million was like, times. Oh, he likes me. I thought he was cool, and I was like, oh, not <laughs> <laughs> our managers like hyping each other up. It's so cute. Seth, <laughs> Seth has a very harsh uh, opinion on a lot of like indie managers, but she, if he, fuck, Seth really fucking likes red. Seth is like red is very competent. <laughs> Uh, he would argue strongly about that, but <laughs> it's okay. We don't need Red's opinion. We know what Red is. <laughs> we know Red's competent. Okay. Red's just really good at planning. Yeah. And he's very well organized, and he knows, he knows his shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's more so on like the creative side than it is like knowledge about management, but that's just as important, especially in our space. I can't wait for my management to like. Uh, take over YouTube, so I don't even have to do anything with YouTube. They're just constantly uploading videos without me. Oh, we're like they have the, all up. your stuff edited and scheduled for you, know, you? We're trying to get it set up so I don't even have to worry about the content. Like, Hell I just, yeah. All I focus on is streaming, scheduling, and events, and they focus on, like, uploading everything to, to TikTok and YouTube, and I'm waiting like for that Like, all the happen. tedious work. Like, make it automated. Yeah, it'll be nice. I'm yeah. excited for that. It's gonna That's be gonna good. be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, my YouTube has surpassed my Twitch followers now. Damn, my let's editor go. My really happy about that, and I'm like, what do you, what do you, what, uh, listen, it's not a competition. <laughs> Wait, so do you have your play button? Yeah. Nice. I will say, though, I was expecting it to be full, <laughs> like solid. It is just a box, and then it has like a silver plating on it. It's got like a steel my, plating on it. It is not solid. My like mirror part was is already like has like fingerprints and no. like like a scratch <laughs> on it. I'm like, what the fuck? And then it gives you a card. And it's like this was packaged with care by this associate. And I'm oh like, yo, God. fuck this guy. <laughs> so, so I have two. So I have a play button from YouTube, and then I have a play button from a website called Billy Billy from a long time ago. Oh yeah. That I used to use. I didn't know they gave those out. Theirs is better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not it surprised. It is solid metal. It is incredibly shiny and gorgeous, and it is very personalized and very cool. Ooh. It is so much cuter. They even have a little TV mascot while well, YouTube is just the button. Right. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Hmm. I wish YouTube... I guess YouTube, like, gives more people play buttons, I guess. Like, there's well, more... I, I, I don't know. Well, what was... Is the Billy Billy requirement the same? 100k. Oh, okay. Yep. I guess maybe it's just more mainstream? I guess so. Quality control, am I right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we've reached the three hours, Mike Singer. Thank oh, you for hanging. Oh, sorry. What? We're over three hours. Yeah, that's fine. I like hanging out with you. I just don't shut up. No, we can keep going if you want. I want I'm down <laughs> to keep going. I don't mind. I actually have a sponsor to work on. That's why I was like, that, see, that's why I'm always the one who has to end it because if the if the V two of them if the guest has to say it, then it feels awkward. I yeah. I'm the one who sticks to the schedule. Because a lot of the time, guests won't be like, um, I I I actually have to go. I I just I just remember. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me, Shader. Yeah, so are you still happy, gonna man. be? Are you still gonna be hanging out? You said you're gonna be. I'm playing uh, games. I'm. I'm. D yeah, I might play some Tears of the Kingdom because I. I haven't been able to do it this week. Yeah, have a nice. I might comfy... just like not yell and just relax and play some Tears. Right. I've. I've certainly hit taking your breath away today. <laughs> dude, the laughter <laughs> fucked me up so I'm hard. I'm so dude. sorry. That was I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> That was so <laughs> fucking fun. All we were I just had so much fun hanging out. At laughter. <laughs> it wasn't even like a joke. It was just the concept of laughing made us laugh. <laughs> Holy shit. 
<laughs> Chat's I guess I. I'm very, very funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know, yeah, uh, that went by so <laughs> fast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming by, Cinder. I always love having you here, and I can't wait to hang out with you again. Hopefully, we get to hang out soon off stream once you guys are busy. Yeah, thank you so much stuff. for having me here again. You, you mean Sada, we gotta watch more shit together too. Yo, yeah, yeah. We gotta find another another show to like binge together. We gotta finish Physical 100. Well, she already watched that. Oh, fuck. Remember? You don't remember? Oh, she did finish that. She, she finished like it when she told us about it. I know that it legitimately watches stuff. Yeah, how, how does she have time? <laughs> She's also an artist. When the fuck does she watch things? Like, while drawing? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I feel like she she does so much work. That's crazy. All the time. All right. Thank you, Cinder. Let's hang Thank out again you, before, chat. before TwitchCon. I got to bring you in again or do something. Yeah. We can we can uh, plan something for sure. Yeah. All right. So do you, like, know the way home? Uh, Follow the burn yeah. marks that your mom <laughs> left on the floor. Oh, 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 I see them. I see them right there. Bye, bye, Joel. Goodbye. Bye, chat. Bye, bye. Singer. We love you. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I love Cinder, chat. She's the sweetest. Chad, if you guys don't know Cinder, please go check her out. She's an absolute sweetheart, and I fucking adore her. She's so cute. She's so sweet. She's, a, like, she's one of my best friends. Legitimately, Cinder is one of my, like, one of my best friends. One of my favorite people to hang out with. All right. Cinder viewers, if you guys enjoyed the stream, uh, thank you for watching. If you only came to hang out and watch me and Cinder, totally fine i get it i hope you guys have a good rest of the night if you want to stay and watch me chill out and uh play some tears of the kingdom i can show you how i made link into a twink uh and that'll be fun other than that thank you all for coming